Gah. What's up, Deadbeats? It's number one underworld rapper, Calliope Mori from Hololive VN, DMing this special session of High Rollers D&D. It's a Halloween episode. Welcome. Woo! Spooky! And so friends, you see me. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our special Halloween episode of High Rollers d and I'm your dungeon master, Mark Sherlock Humes, but for today, Kelly Pimori. Nobody in our chat will know who this is. Nope. I don't care. I love this character. That's why I'm doing it. Joining me this week on this side of the table, we have a spooky monster. <laughs> phasmophobia baby. Yeah. Is, this, is, that, is this what this specifically That's is the phasmophobia is. horrible thing? Baby. Yeah. baby. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next we have. I'm an Uno wild card. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sure are, pal. You sure are an Uno wild card. wild card with your rainbow suit, which doubles up as another costume for another year, maybe. Just a rainbow suit. We've got cufflinks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then uh, some wrestle man. I am Danhausen. Very Dan nice, very evil. It's very good. <laughs> very, very evil. I've got a cloak. Look. Ooh, swish. Oh, the swish, cloak swish, is swish. great. <laughs> You're wearing your own merchandise. I'm wearing my own Dan merchandise. <laughs> Buy Danhausen merchandise at aw.store.com. No, no, no. Wow, we are not by that. <laughs> <laughs> Do not. Yeah, okay, thank you. On the other side of the table, we have. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Oh my loud in my ears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh, a flame skull. <laughs> flame skull. <laughs> Just a flame skull. Yeah. No, Not a named flame no skull. There's no body. From our campaign. Oh, what was remember. his name? No, that was that had a whole body mm. which was a suit of armor, so it can't be that one. But it is. <laughs> He's flying around. No, from, it was a uh, sentence wow. from Furnace. Since we, did we, we had a we had a green yeah, flame a, skull. Yeah. I don't know. We did. Barnabas. We did. We had Barnabas. 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 There we go. Was it Barnabas? Barnabas. I could not remember. And then we have the Scarlet Witch herself, Wanda. Da, 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 da. In horror, bit, are you like the spooky yeah. Wanda? Or no, you this nice is like Wanda? end of Wanda Vision, not okay. quite there yet. Yeah, not there yet, but one day. Yeah. Uh, perfect. And you know, I just want to say specifically for Tom, going from wearing the worst red dragon mask <laughs> that he yeah. bought for Amazon what a glow to making his whole he made costume it. made that. Wow, yeah. Oh, a little too. crafty boy. Okay, like you made the, oil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just completely coated yourself. He can't drink anything now. No. Because no. He, no. no. Yeah. Oh, no, you can. You changed it. Yeah. Earlier he was full oh, God. more God. <laughs> You need a straw. <laughs> Don't do it. By the way. This Segway. is a terrible idea. Um, but yeah, just a little, you know, well done little round of applause for Tommy Boy. You know, he's done me proud for Halloween. I'm clapping. You can't see it. You can't see it. It's <laughs> he invisible. cut the finger off his thing so, <laughs> so he can use iPad. iPad. <laughs> so he can iPad it. <laughs> uh, apologies for the technical issues at the start, for the little bit of late start. We got there in the end. Big shout out to our big, uh, our wonderful boy, Electronics, Laurie. Yes. Thank you so much for helping chat, fix a lot of things. I'm hoping he's in chat, but let's give some love to Laurie Electronics <laughs> in chat. Thanks for, for helping us. It. it was actually everything. this studio's fault. Yeah. Uh, the breaking our router. So. I cursed it. Yeah, they cursed our router. We had to get a new router and then we had to change yeah, it all. And then Trot's been like in here for like an hour and a bit trying to figure it out. Laurie's been helping him. Sam's been like waiting to set it all up. But a we Halloween got there. Curse. A Halloween curse. A spooky curse for ah! Halloween. Um, Don't use your hands, you're just a head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you just gotta like <laughs> jostle your head. Ah! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh uh, so thank you very much for your patience. Uh, a couple of quick things to mention. Uh, the first one, I'm, I'm going to do the, the least important one first. Uh, just so you know, the next couple of episodes will be a little bit shorter. They're going to be two-hour episodes, uh, so they are going to be pre-recorded because I will be going away. Um, as always, when we do things like the donations and stuff like that, we will do a big readout when we're all back live, so we won't miss out on any of your lovely donations and lovely yeah. messages of support. So please do keep them coming, um, but just so you're aware, the next couple of episodes will be a little shorter while we figure all of that stuff out. And then the more exciting uh, and fun one... Woo! is next Sunday. Woo! What? Oh. New merch line. Oh, yes. It's happening. Yeah. yeah. So Kim's got a, but we got a, but because we're in costume, we can't wear them, so we're going to show them off instead. So we have a long sleeve t-shirt, a short sleeve t-shirt, a new hoodie. Um, there's a zip up. Uh, yeah, there's a zip, zip up, up hoodie. Show the back of the hoodie. Like the apparel. I'm showing the zip. So we've got, yeah, new hoodie. It's all this wonderful wood print art style with dragons and like wizards. Kind of like this classic medieval uh, kind of like wood print style. Thank you very much, Nina. Serena, our wonderful artist Thank who you, does Nina. all of our merch. Yes. Buy it. Thank you, Nina. Um, so all this new apparel. Nice little uh, emblem. And this will be like a new there's ongoing a Prime collection. So this yeah. will always be around. This will be restocked. Yeah, this will be restocked when we want it. This will last for about a year or, you know, maybe 
maybe a bit longer, um, but this will be around. Uh, so pick these up, maybe just in time for Christmas. <gasps> Christmas. Uh, maybe you're at yeah, Comic Con and you got one already. Oh, yeah. maybe. maybe we uh, sneak that in a little bit. Oh. And then also, if we flip to the other camera, Katie's showing off a brand new High Rollers tankard uh, that we have coming out as well. Beautiful wow. tankard. Wow. Been hinted at. Amazing. It's been on the Whoa. table for it a little bit. Been. Yeah, we've yeah. had a couple of them. It's got uh, two sides. It's got a high roller's emblem that matches what's on the hoodie on one side. And then nice. it's got a dragon and some dice on the other side. Oh, oh my god. Oh. You can get this amazing pewter uh, tankard. But there is one more thing. There is which one Trot more thing. Has. Uh, Trot has and, and has done a, a special thing. I think we should show the little teaser. Let's what? show that now, oh. if possible. What? That's wow. right. Well, the blessing. We you have, have been blessed. Fancy dice that come in our iconic rollout mat. Rollout mat. Woo. With a new with a new emblem new on the emblem mat. If you got our on previous one, it was um, very Rois themed. This one is uh, more sort of generic nice, yeah. dragons and dice. And, Griffons. Yeah, Griffons. Griffons. Chivalry. And are the dice in there? <gasps> wah, bah, bah, bah. They're, in there. They're so pretty. Oh. It's really hard to show. Maybe I can put them on the PTZ actually. I don't know if oh. you can show them without. Ooh. Yeah. They are all glittery, and there's a liquid sphere core. in the yeah I in mean, the center. Liquid core. That video was gorgeous, but even then, it doesn't do justice doesn't to when you see them in how. person. They yeah, are so, so beautiful. I don't know if you can get a zoom in on that, Sam, but uh, there they are. So pretty. Oh, give them a shake. Yeah, shake them. Yeah, shake them. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that glitter. Oh. That actually works very well. Yeah, yeah. great so job, PTZ. I mean, PTZ. We love it. We love to see it. They all have glittery. Liquid cores, and that will be available next Sunday with the rest of this drop. Yes, uh, so I'm going to use them. So yeah, absolutely, <laughs> you should. They're mine. Unless they roll really badly, then don't use them. Um, but yeah, so pick that up next Sunday. Uh, as always, like if you buy a bunch of stuff together, you can save yourself on shipping. Um, and yeah, get it all on our fresh freshmerch.fm. I broke it. Yes. Sure. Full yeah. slash categories, full slash high dash rollers. rollers. But we're on the fresh. we're on the front page so, of fresh merch, yeah, fresh yeah. merch anyway. You can find us on there. Yeah. Uh. Um, also, there will be a restock of our Christmas jumper at the same time. Oh yes, that was so. The if you missed out last year, or like, we're just gonna keep rolling that one out yeah. as well. So every Christmas, wow. enjoy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So wow. brand new Christmas jumper as well. Uh, not new re-release of our old Christmas jumper, but it's a lovely Christmas jumper. We only did them in limited number last year, so not many people got hold of them. So this is a, a perfect chance to get one. Yes. Um, and that is pretty much it. Unless there's something I've forgotten. Do these taste like anything? No okay. eating the dice. No Don't either. eat the dice. Don't eat the dice. Right. Calm candy. down, Danhausen. Eat right. the dice. In that case, we're going to play the Dun Duns, and then we're going to do really some cool. Dungeons and Dragons. Dun Duns. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Arois. Last time, our heroes have journeyed to the city of Vortensar, seeking to help out a group known as the Seekers, as well as their own ally, Norfir, also known as Nanny Norfir, uh, in infiltrating the city to locate this planar teleportation device that may, might one day threaten the entire city, but will supposedly transport it back to the plane of Ganas. 
at the request of Harmony, the leader of uh, Vortensar, as well as Shansara, this sort of propaganda agent of the Valkyrian Empire who seemingly has gone rogue from Callus's wishes. The party, having met with a specialist called Kay, began to craft some uh, disguises and personas uh, in order to infiltrate the city as a number of Ganassi, uh, in order to blend in and not raise suspicions uh, without having to cause any sort of incident. Uh, they began forging these new identities. Uh, much debate and discussion was had over whom would be what and how they would be presented. Uh, but eventually, they made their way on their airship and they now have only a few days remaining to try and stop Shansara and Harmony's plans. Uh, and that is pretty much where we are going to be jumping back in today. Uh, well, hello. Ding dong. Welcome to the Halloween episode. Uh, We're all yes. dressed up. Yes, yeah. if you're listening to the podcast, this is one of those ones where it's always good. Just go and have a look on the YouTube. You don't have to watch the whole thing, but come and see everyone's costumes. So make it more uh, spooky. Yeah. If there's something oh. that doesn't make sense, it's because we're all laughing at someone's costume. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> there's extra rustling and stuff today. Yeah. Apologies yes. for that. Uh, yeah, that's a flame skull. <laughs> that's a flame skull. <laughs> Sorry about that. Spooky. Perfect. Spooky. Ooh. Got control of the uh, lights again. Watch out, boys. Uh, watch out, ghouls. It's your boy. Um, <laughs> all right. Spooky lighting. Perfect. Um, it's not a particularly spooky episode, uh, but... We can yes, make it, it is. Well, yeah. it is. It, it we it can really make it isn't. spooky. Um, no, sorry, Danhausen, you can't. Uh, did, did you know that culturally right now in Vordensar, it is the equivalent of Halloween? It is Samhain. So there are jack-o'-lantern oh. decorations. And... Okay. I know that you wrote the city and, like, it's your create. You don't get to just decide things no, I do. the game I is do. going. No, I do. Also, for podcast listeners, Dan... Dan Harrison hasn't joined us today. That's oh, but I have. I, I, I know it's so convincing. For human monies. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, the one we have one slight sort of like flashbacky retconny thing to do, which Whoa. is that because Katie wasn't here for the last few episodes, whilst Hi. things like Ganassi were being created and decisions about what to do with magical weapons and magical items was being decided. There's a we need to establish a few things for Ayla. Um, so to kind of catch you up to speed, Katie, uh, you have this uh, changeling with you called Kay Avalon, um, and Kay is able to use a mixture of magic and physical disguises as well as tailoring and costume to help you forge these kind of new personas. Um, so far, all of the gang have created this Ganassi person that they are going to pretend to be and, and characterize themselves as. And I think we all are kind of agreed that you would be pretty much on board with being a fire ganache yeah, with all the red. <laughs> um, but we didn't want to come up with a name or like, you know, the guys have come up oh, with like, God. you know, like what their jobs are or what their sort of like Blake. character is going to be. Um, and uh, yeah, so we need to kind of briefly establish that because I don't want to throw, because the next thing you're going to be doing it's is you are about there. to arrive at the city gates and will need to pass through basically immigration to yeah. get inside. And there are a number of mechanics uh, of which oh boy. I have my board here to remind me. Um, we have a number of mechanics uh, detailing things like countdown of how long you have until the plan kind of goes into effect. Uh, each day has a kind of like tracker and you also have something called an incognito score which will determine how well hidden and disguised you all are. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pop that down there for now. I feel like we're in our disguises because we're yes. wearing costumes. I'm a wrestler. Yeah. Good, perfect. Okay, You're, that's I'm not immersed. what you decided last no. time. Um, <laughs> to give you a bit more time to think, we're going to recap, because yeah. I need a recap, because I've cool. had a very busy weekend and I'm very mentally tired. Uh, so we're going to have a recap on whom is who and what you are sort of claiming and pretending to be. So Tom, remind us of whom Quill is pretending to be. Quill. Tom, tell us who Quill is pretending to be. Flame Skull. Yeah, who Flame Skull, who is Tom. Who's playing <laughs> Quill, yeah. who's disguised as Wisp, the Wisp. Uh, Air Ganassi, who is an old, aged, decrepit man who stinks a little bit. That's right. Um, oh. And no one wants to go near him, mainly because his illusions won't necessarily cover up his wings and That's feathers right. and extremities. Um, okay. So yeah, just a, a, a the old, crazy, learned, stinky old man, Aganasi Wisp. Perfect. Yep. Kim Danhausen, who is Kim, who is playing Nova, who is Nova being? I am Spritz, uh, aka Julian. Julian is my uh, page name, uh, for I am a journalist, a food journalist. Uh, mixed air and water, Ganassi, because, you know, why change that up? I'm also a man, 
and I have been physically altered to reflect such with a little beard that I can stroke. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a kind of more masculine uh, chest, you know, uh, broad shoulders, flat chest, and I have a penis. <laughs> okay. Oh, Make sure wow. you write that down, Kitty. I didn't write that down. No, it's part of the notes. <laughs> write it down. Trot's written it down. I wrote that he was stinky. because Trot's was... actually drawn it. Write down weenus. Weenus. <laughs> That is that is true. Kay provided you with a sort of alchemical uh, potion elixir that weenus. provides a temporary uh, physical changes in a person's uh, sex. Um, yeah, perfect. All right, that's Spritz. What Uno wild card? Who is Chris Frog? <laughs> who is playing Lucius? Whom is Lucius pretending to be? Uh, Lucius is playing a thespian who has gone on his journeys. Whose name is Azure. 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 Yeah. But the E has a little... A little fancy. A little flicky. A little flick on the end. A little bit of Azure. Azure. I'm an Air Ganassi. I have uh, shorter white glowing hair, and I requested that my wibbly bits be removed yeah. just to see what it's like. Yeah. Because I think they're annoying. He can doll um, it. Cool. I'm Ken dolling it. And uh, yes, I am a thespian, and I, th I believe with Vort and Saar, the culture is to go out and, as particularly the younger generations, to seek out new stories and... New uh, civilizations. Yes, reinvigorate the culture but from the old, tired, you know, uh, yes. traditional ones. Find your new stories. Find your new stories. So that's what Azure is doing. That's like kind of like your your uh, the story that you're going to tell of why you've not been in the city. And, and I'm why bringing it back, back. Yeah. to the city. Yes. Perfect. All right. Perfect. That's Azure or Azure. And then Devil Baby. <laughs> Devil baby. Rhiannon, who is Sentry, whom is Sentry pretending to be? Are you here, so Devil Baby? Sentry like is uh, pretending to be a Earth Ganassi called Crag, Boulder Dash. Um, they are a player of the famous game called Battle of the Elemental Mountain, um, which is a game where you have to uh, destroy or remove uh, ceramic plates from the backs of other players, I believe. Um, so she's going to make the most of her, her big physique and uh, yeah, just act as if she's playing, as if she's come back to Vort and Saar to train for upcoming games. Mm. Um, well, I think yeah. we said that there was like a lot of kind of physical scarring to the face yes. to kind of mask that Sentry's expression never changes. Yeah. So you have like a physical mask, like a kind of like a, you know, like a bandana -y mask, but then also these kind of like physical scars and, and things like that. Yeah, mask, cool and that. she's wearing a very like loose green tunic and trousers with she little flippy floppy shoes on that expose her tootsies. <laughs> it's very strange to Sentry. Yeah. <laughs> but she likes it, it's comfy. I get big Earthbender vibes uh, from from, mm. from that. Yeah, the, boulder. The, the boulder. The boulder. Crag. <laughs> Another wrestler, uh, like fully. Mm. But yes, so that is just to kind of help give you some ideas of what the rest of the party's doing. Yeah. Um, and this is definitely going to be a uh, kind of thing that we should establish now before you have to talk. Um, yeah. The other thing, I think, I, d I can't remember if I mentioned it, um, the other, there's like another mechanic which we have in place, um, which I mentioned to these guys. Is this the clocks mechanic? Uh, no, this is the... Did I mention this or did I remove it? This you is the problem. My brain is like mush right now. You told um, us about the clocks flashbacks. mechanic. I told you about flashbacks. Yes, uh, yes, yes, you yes. did, yeah. So, uh, yeah, flashback points uh, basically uh, can be used to kind of... Rather than doing this thing that we often do when we do like heists or like making plans to like sneak into places and stuff like that, um, the idea is that these flashback points you can cash in to say, oh, well, it's a good job that we made these preparations to do this, and then you can, like, have an item that you need or have, like, a certain thing or have made a contact. Like, there are ways to basically kind of... Within reason. Yeah, within reason. Um, good thing we killed all the guards. Yeah, you can't, can't quite do that. Um, but you could be like, yeah, but, like, this particular building, we made sure there were no guards around by bribing them all huh? earlier in the day or yeah. whatever. Um, and that you can earn those by so basically sacrificing through. time to, like, prepare those ahead of time and stuff. And you might earn them from other ways as well. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Uh, so what's the plan for Wanda, a.k.a. Katie, a.k.a. Ayla, a.k.a. Ganassi? Fire Ganassi. Fire Ganassi. So you can ask the guys, like, you can ask for help, like, you don't, you don't have to come up with help. it yourself. So I suggested um, to Sentry um, to go the kind of sports route um, mm. because both of your physiques match, yeah. you know, kind of like, so Battle for Elemental Mountain, um, there's like a, a player position called um, 
what did I call it? God. God, literally God. <laughs> Where you kind of help block your plate carrier. Um, right. So there'll be a, a Ganassi carrying okay. a ceramic plate, but you help defend them and block them from attack. Yeah. Um, and that's what Sentry is kind of going for. But um, I, with your physique, with Ayla's physique, I, I think that would be, or a plate carrier yourself. Like, or I like think. Like an attacker or something. Yeah, like yeah. Like something a, very I like physical the guard combat. idea. Yeah, yeah. Guard sounds good. I think, yeah, we could go with guard and then I can kind of go so, with Sentry and also. Uh, I don't know, maybe like Spark or Inferno for yeah. a name. Yeah, because you could be teammates as well on the same team because it's not elementally locked. Yeah. It's called Battle for Elemental Mountain, but that's because it's different. The mountain has different terrains. Okay. And that's the reason why Sentry was out. Cause, so we decided that we all met at Imixan, taking a ship to Vortensar. Um, and so um, Sentry was training at Imixan, climbing mountains. So you could have been training as well um, together. Cool, okay. That works. So what, thinking, what name do you yeah, think? Spark or Inferno? Spark, maybe Spark. Okay. Spark. Spark Perry. Nope. That's a dumb <laughs> name. Uh, um, I sent you some notes on Discord in the DM on Elemental Mountain if you want to. Um, okay. Is that like a and full it, game that you've created? No. No? I, mean, I would say it's like a, you you came up with like a pretty like pretty much what Kim just explained there like okay. you kind of came up with the baseline and I took it up yeah I mean like, it's, I yeah it. it, it's just that that's the main concept yeah. like you know the concept is pretty much what it is so, yeah you know what was the name of the game Battle of Elemental Mountain yeah if you check your Discord DMs from me I sent you a thing about it but um, if you catch a bird you get a thousand points and then the whole game is pointless. <laughs> <It's> wonderful <pointless. laughs> yeah. the golden orb. plate <laughs> yeah. you the ball the, the golden, golden ball, ball. <laughs> So dumb. Anyway, uh, the other thing to think about is obviously any kind of actual cosmetic elements. So, you know, Ayla obviously has big red hair anyway. K yeah. would have probably, you know, suggested using, because what he's, what K, sorry, they are using is a mixture of physical disguise with the seeming spell, which creates like an illusion, like a disguise self over everyone. So that won't hold up to like physical inspection, but it cr provides a more illusory thing. So he might have, oh, sorry, they might have recommended that they sculpt your hair into like big kind of like spikes or something like that. And then they would make it look like it's like, you know, flames or fiery or something like that um, on top of the actual physical hair itself. Mm -hmm. Um, because like Money. obviously Ganassi all have these elemental <laughs> hair, uh, so like you know. For do they Lucius. have elemental ha hair that's just like flows? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, you could do that I was way thinking well, of just yeah. making it what she has, but it's straightened all straightened, like yeah, just like flows outwards. Because yeah. her hair is quite big because mm. there's a, there's a lot of it. Does she have it tied up. I can't remember. Not in not currently. No, now, okay. not anymore. Yeah. Um, it's sort of got braids through it, but mm. it's not tied up as such. Mm. But it's quite big. Mm. And there's a lot of it. It's like. Okay. So yeah. I, I think Kate, they would probably suggest like maybe taking out the braids because the braids would be hard to disguise as the flames, which would add even more waves yeah. of volume. But then yeah, they would shape it the illusion to make it look like this roiling mass of like smoldering yeah. kind of like embers and flames, and that... probably like make it look mostly like hair, but like the the tips are on fire and smoldering, and then it's all black and then going into the red kind of almost like it's kind of you know flamey kind of like that. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, like would provide you. I mean, I mean, your outfit is predominantly red anyway, right? So, pretty much. Yeah, so they probably wouldn't need to change too much with Ayla. Just anything that would signify you as a wild elf, they would you would need to store and hide away temporarily. I think it's just um, tartan, mm -hmm. the probably the furs that mm -hmm. she wears. She would yep. take, need to, those like, off. take those off. Um, yeah. And her lightning scars mm -hmm. would probably. They can be like, yeah, K, K can make those. If they could be like flamey. Yeah, they can instead. make the K would probably Fiery? suggest something like making them look like lava cracks or something like mm. that, like glowing, glowing yeah. lights and stuff. Like that, yeah, probably. Sure. And then she'd probably be, yeah, still in pretty low key sure. outfit. The last question then is, what do you want to do about the hammer? Uh, we t temporarily, in case you weren't back before it became relevant, we were going to suggest like leaving it with Azari to get upgraded and then get sent to you. Uh, but you can also just be like, no, I, I want to have a hammer with me. The only problem is going into the city, if you have powerful magical items, they either need to be masked, which Kay can only do, I think, one more time, yeah. um, or they need to be stored in like the bag, like your ha uh, your backpack, the, the hand has have his hack. Um, because like obviously having a powerful magic weapon, if anybody does detect magic, 
that would throw up questions of like, why do you have this incredibly powerful magic or hammer? Yeah. So, but so I, think, I think there's one mask left on magic yeah. items. Would be good to have it because Ayla doesn't really have anything else that's mm -hmm. like yeah. there's no other ability. It's the, the raw hammer. Strength. Uh, well, raw strength and the hammer is all she she has, so she can't do spells or anything. Kay can provide like, you with yeah. a mundane weapon, like any mundane. Yeah, weapon I think want. what. Mm, yeah. So it could provide you with like a standard like hammer or axe or something like that as a, as a sort of like temporary weapon. Um, but it's also, yeah. Like if they mask it, would would it be... Uh, it's risky it, because it can be right. like if a very powerful creature were to like okay. use true seeing or something, they can see through that illusion. But generally like it will, de it will fool things like detect magic or like identify spells and stuff like that. So it's like, it's pretty good it's a good way of hiding stuff until unless there's like oh, okay no this person's really powerful so it's kind of got a risk to it but it means that you can have it on you for most of the time i don't know what do you think um it's hard so i've masked tiangong but because tiangong can shape shift they're like they've become a small yeah. dagger um i could always put the howling tempest in my Backpack. Yeah, and then, and then have the a mundane weapon. Now. Yeah, and then the ruling I've said is that anything in the backpack basically will take an action for to you get to out. get out. Basically, so like you'll yeah, have I might to spend that. your action to I do, might that. do that. Yeah, okay. What other um, then I have attuned? It. Nothing things. that's a weapon. Okay, but you have other attuned because you've got yeah. like the belt and stuff, don't you? Yeah, the belt. So again, those either need to come off and be stored away, or they would need to be masked. I would like the belt to be masked. Then. Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. is that the giants? Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. thing that gives her like the crazy big strength. Yeah, so, okay. yeah. Definitely um, that, right? so is it just the belt, or do you have anything? I've got else? Um, is another thing. Um, but yeah, I think everyone else has kind of pretty much got their main weapons. Crystal yeah. cord, cord crystal of alacrity. So that's your plus. That gives you a bit yeah, of a dex like boost. That. So again, that would either that would probably need to be taken off. If you want to keep the belt, then you'd need to remove that temporarily. Um, that's annoying. Okay, yeah, I'll take that off, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, because I think, like, yeah, pretty much everybody's either taken off their magic yeah. items or masked, like, their one main thing. So I think you, did you, which did you mask, Tom? Was it the um, spear or was it the Wayfinder's Guide? The spear. And the Wayfinder's Guide is in the backpack. Wayfinder's in the haversack, yeah, and the spear looks like a walking stick. Walking now. stick, oh, that's yeah. right. And then Tian Gong's been masked, and I think <laughs> Lucius has stored pretty much all of his items. And Have I've you unequipped all of your items, well. by the way, as well? Um, I will do that, yeah. yeah. Make sure you unequip them. And make but sure um, my gauntlet is masked, right? That's right, yeah. So it was one, two, three, yeah. And then sentry stuff is all How in the backpack. How much were we allowed to mask? Uh, there's one, one more item. One so one. It's, it's if Katie's well, going to mask the belt, then, the then belt. no more. Yeah. So you've got to remove any other items. So do I need to remove my amethyst lodestone? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yep. Anything magical that you have. messenger rings? Yes. They're all magical. Sentry's the only one with the stuff. <laughs> yeah. And then if you want to add any mundane weapon, same for you, Sentry, as well, like, just add it from the inventory in d and Beyond. Just go in and pick a weapon and add it. My uh, stats aren't updated. That's all right. I'll just... I'll, I can fix this. I don't think it'll matter too much. To I have this issue where whenever I... It's the stat boosting put, uh, items. Yeah, the item yeah. doesn't. That's fine. It doesn't well, the belts, off. the strength's not going to change, and I think your dex no. would only go down by two anyway. So we yeah, it's only yeah. two. It's just My dex minus is one. Then. Yeah, and it's just it's one less. Right, cool. All right, in that case, you are all prepared then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well. You have, if you guys want to have a chat and like, this is probably your last chance before you arrive at the gates. You are maybe like the. There are three more people in front of you. Uh, that are going to go through the security. So if you want to have a hushed, whispered conversation before you pass through, now is the time. Now, don't forget, Nanny North here. She's in Coal Smoke Street, and we need to look for the spicy rabbit sign. And we need to order the Banton mix, Bantau. Sky Elf style. Bantau mix. Bantau. Oh, I did write that. Yes, yeah, it's just, just it's smudged, smudged on my it. hand. Yeah, you probably don't want them to see the writing on your hand. So I won't do this. Quite suspicious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Has everyone got that? Y yes. Have you got that? Yes. Spritz? Yes. Uh, Azure. Oh, you betcha. Old man. Wisp. 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 Yes, that's my name. Yes. Thank you, uh, Azure. Spark and yeah. Crag. 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 Spark and Crag. Yes. Both uh, know each other. Athletes in the... Uh, uh, Battle of Battle. Elemental Mountains. Ba yes. Yeah. That one. Bem, yeah. for short. I don't know if you guys That's know it. this, but I'm really bad at like lying to people and getting through places. Just um, oh, kinda, you know, it's okay. So I met some of the sports team um, from my moron brother and my oh, idiot yeah. sister. Um, just grunt. 
Mm. Honestly, like, yeah. Oh, so just just be me? Yeah, cool. just grunt and scratch yourself. That seems to be what they do a lot. Maybe not swear at them, though. No, no. Craig can speak for you and say that you were punched in the larynx or something in the last game. Yeah, you're recovering from a throat injury. We both had a really hard loss. My, yeah. my face got, you know, all smashed and... Yeah. Yeah. Cragged up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And your yeah, larynx fair. got punched. Okay. Yeah, punched and... In injury. Yeah. It was injury. rough, but it was great. <laughs> Better, yeah. than, better than the other team. Yeah. Oh, Should yes. have seen the other guy. Yeah. They suck, so they were terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw that sport. And... We need they, a t- do we need a team name? Mm. Well, uh, my sister plays for the Tectonic Titans. Tectonic Titans? That's a great name. Sure. TT! Uh, exactly how popular are the Tectonic Titans? Yeah. Uh, they're one of the leading teams at the well, Atlas Academy. Them. Probably not they don't a good know. idea. No, okay. yeah. They'll know Maybe all the players. Maybe an up-and-coming team, then. Mm. The Volcanic Victors. Oh, yeah. that's good. Oh, Victor. That's a good one. Victor as a victory. Victor, victory. Oh, you win. I'm really getting into this character. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the yes, character. Really if Ayla's smarter, you've got an issue here. <laughs> character, <laughs> yeah. But you believed it, though. <laughs> I mean, his character, his, his character that Quill is playing is also meant to be quite intelligent yeah. and wise. But, You're a professor. Um, yeah. But I'm old as balls. <laughs> that doesn't mean you're dumb as shit. I didn't say dumb as shit. <laughs> I knew a Victor once. It was my first association with the word Victor. Sue me. So as you are having this conversation, the three older Ganassi that had been sort of talking to you um, whilst you were in the queue last time, uh, they get called up um, ahead of you. The guards kind of pull them them aside and begin sort of questioning them and things like that. Uh, And it's not long before a guard, uh, and you can see that the Ganassi, they're all Ganassi. Uh, This one will probably be, there's probably a couple of Earth Ganassi, um, a Water Ganassi, uh, and then a kind of mixture of, of other Ganassi, kind of like, you know, further in the distance. But the, these three teeth seem to be the ones who are interacting with the actual visitors and things like that. You can see that one of them carries a kind of ledger-like book. Um, it's got some sort of um, very minor sort of enchanted pen that's kind of like an ever-running quill, like it doesn't need an ink pot, it just writes. Um, and uh, she looks over you uh, and says, uh, are you all together or are you individual groups? Kind of like looking. Oh yes, we are together. Um, sort of like, oh, very eclectic looking group, all right. Um, and she sort of like takes a couple of notes down and says, all right, well, uh, if you can follow this way, um, we'll just conduct the interviews over here. And she gestures to a small uh, kind of like courtyard almost, like that's kind of just beyond the gates. It's kind of like a, a sectioned off area, not quite in the city itself yet, um, almost like a guard's room that's been sort of emptied out and opened up. Um, just that where they can have chats with people. And there's like some chairs and tables and stuff in there, all very plain wooden things, um, but just where you're basically meant to take a seat. Um, and you can see that there are a few other guards and stuff uh, positioned there. You do notice that in the vicinity, there are a few of these Valkyrian riflemen um, who have got the kind of the more Magitek looking weapons and armor, um, who are kind of patrolling around. And they seem to be conversing with a much more, and you couldn't see them from when you were outside, but now that you're kind of inside this area, kind of going into this waiting section, you can see that there is one much more senior-looking Valkyrian officer. They're not wearing armor. Uh, they're wearing almost like a, like a, an Imperial officer's uniform from Star Wars, the kind of gray suit uh, with sort of like belted tunic, um, very regal-looking collar. Uh, looks much more magical, um, but they seem to be taking orders. And they're in the background. They're not really paying attention to mu- much things, but they're just kind of like chatting with some of the, the officers and a few of the Ganassi. Um, but yeah, this woman sort of says, yeah, and take in that case, if you're all together, and she kind of points to a room on the side, um, and uh, you are meant to follow, head in. Yeah, I'll follow up. All right, okay. You step inside, um, and then shortly after, uh, two Ganassi, the two uh, Earth Ganassi, uh, will step inside, and they'll be like, oh, good morning, good morning. Uh, welcome, if you could please uh, just take a seat. With this, this shouldn't take you too long. Um, oh, seat, finally. Yep. I've been in this queue for so long. Yeah, we apologize for the wait. Like we just have to uh, we just have to make sure that everyone coming in, we've got a few questions we need to ask. Would any of you like uh, water or, or anything like that? We can we can have some. Oh yes, for you. very parched. Yes, of course, yes, yes. And they'll they'll sort of like gesture to somebody outside. Um, and they'll just count how many of you are, six of you, and then they'll gesture and sort of say, six, can we get some six, six, you know, cups of water brought in? Um, and I'll yeah, say, yeah, old man. please, please take a seat. Thank you. Uh, just, just give us a moment here. We just need it's to do a couple of things. Door. Oh, yeah, no, please take your time. Um, <laughs> and they'll, they'll sort of step to the door. You can see the two of them sort of have a hushed conversation between the two of them. One of them steps outside for a minute. 
comes back a few minutes later. They kind of keep you waiting for like another five minutes in this room, like not really engaging with you and sort of like making apologies. Oh, sorry, we just need to check a few things. And um, what do you, how, what, how are you guys acting in those kind of like five minutes? Like, what do you guys do during? Oh, I am stroking my beard. Just sort I'm of like, like doing there. a manly pose and stroking mm-hmm. my beard. Trying to stay in character, but definitely like noticeably agitated. Okay. Like bouncing leg. That okay. sort of thing. I'm Crossing man, my arms and I'm then changing spreading. positions. Okay. I'm man spreading my chair. Okay. No, so, uh, just you looking like I don't know what's going on in the world. Like. Okay. Just mouth open, slight bit of drool. <laughs> <laughs> Real dumb. Uh, okay. Nice. So you're just leaning against the wall, just crossed arms, just trying to look like tough, just sure. trying to be imposing. Well, with. It's been a long time since I last came to Fort and Saab, but the checkpoints, they weren't so serious. You just used to be able to walk right in. Yes. Walk right in and pick up whatever you want and now, walk right out. Change, change is happening all the time, but it keeps your blood pumping. That's what is that I some more water? Say. What? A lot, a lot more. Take sips a lot. I am taking Frequently. sips. Fantastic. Seeing as you're doing pretty much the only one who's actually talking, uh, this is Lucius and Quill, can you both make deception checks for Well, me? son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're there doing, spouting off all this stuff. Like, that is definitely deception. Back in my day. Come on. <laughs> they're, they're 100% Bless listening. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Nine. Fuck, no. Is that the total? With, no. your dece- with your deception bonus? My deception's not good. Okay. And then for Quill? Uh, eight. All right. Okay. Roll badly. Uh, another sort of, maybe another 10 minutes, I would say, goes past, but eventually this other Ganassi guard returns and it's like, so, so sorry. Um, just had to sort out some other things. So sorry to keep you waiting. Um, we've just got a few very simple questions. Uh, we're just going to go round. You said that you are all traveling together. Is that correct? Yes. Oh, only by chance and coincidence. Uh, you're, you're not related? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we all met on the same airship from Imgazan and ah. you know, struck up a friendship on the way here. Oh, I see. Are any of you... So none of you are colleagues or family or anything like that? Colleague. Yes, we train Colleague. together. Can I get some deception? <laughs> you, please? Can she get advantage? <laughs> um, <laughs> No, <laughs> it's just, uh, well, I'll let you, it can either be deception or performance. I don't uh, think it will matter. No, I don't think honest. it will matter either. Uh, oh. Does everybody not have good deception? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's just me, right? Well, plus deception three. or what? Uh, deception or performance, I don't think it will make It'll be the same because they're both charisma. Yeah. yeah. It's just if you have training in one or the other. Five. So five and... Eight. Eight, excellent. I have oh a my plus God. nothing. Uh, so just to check, oh, it was a nine. Know? An eight, another eight, and a five. Oh, the Sorry. nine was the highest. Yeah. You're going to jail. I'm just going to add those. You're going to jail. Ha ha, rollers. <laughs> Whenever we have to do anything stealth or deception, it does It just does it's not fine. work. It's fine. It's not like it's, it's not thing. like you make one roll and it's an immediate fail. It's just the, keeping track of the. <laughs> you make four and it's a fail. Yeah, I'm just, well, just keeping track. But one hour before track. this, we actually managed to get through. Yeah. I actually flirted with. No, you don't. Guy. You don't have any flashback tokens yet. So. Oh, yeah. You don't have any yet. You haven't Let's earned it. Let's try. Um, all right. Uh, so you guys are saying that you guys know each other. Is anybody else claiming that they knew each other or they're connected to each other before they they met on this just airship? All airship just, meeting. Uh, yeah. All right. In that case, travel the, convenience right. for me. In that case, the guy's like, "Oh, so sorry. Bit of a misunderstanding. Then um, we need to." Obviously, if you don't didn't know each other before you met on this airship, <laughs> we need to have a chat with you individually. Uh, we'll start with the two that came together then. Um, if the three of you could just wait just outside uh, of the four of you, outside. sorry, indicating K as well. Uh, come on, uh, come I'll on, help him out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah, they, you will have to be interviewed separately. Brilliant. Uh, Good luck, guys. Well, if you, if you, guys, you guys have been to immigration, like, you know, when if you're not family or if you're not directly traveling with there you. There was yeah. that time, though, Katie and I went through together because the guy recognized her and waved me over and was like, oh, come on! Yeah, yeah well, that's, yeah, these guys don't recognize you. So. That's what we went to Seattle, remember? No. All right. Do you want us to leave the room? <laughs> oh, that's a great idea, Tom. That's a really <laughs> good know. idea. You'll make us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, know. that's really? a brilliant idea. Because then you won't know what questions exactly. are coming. <laughs> yeah, Tom, what a great idea. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, great. Thanks, Tom. You're welcome. I hate you so much. Bye. Uh, Bye, Tom. Bye. As well. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've got oh, to go. I thought, oh. <laughs> it's going to be a real interview, a little uh, immigration interview. Welcome. I can get a mini roll. Yeah, gonna, yeah you yeah. can get a little mini roll. Just I'll plug your ears. Just plug your ears. I'd just like to use this to point out I'm wearing my big goth boots as well. Okay, great. And, and some Dan House and Bat trousers. <laughs> get out. 
Right. <laughs> Let me know when you, are you in outside? Right, they're outside. They're gone. All right. So these guards will look at the two of you um, and just say, yep, yeah, we should, shouldn't keep you long. Now that we've kind of got that sorted out, it shouldn't be too much. Uh, can I get your names, please? My name is Craig. Craig? Craig Balderdash. Craig Balderdash. OK, brilliant. Thank you. And you, Miss? Spark. 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 They write it down. OK, excellent. And what do you both do? I am a plate carrier for the Volcanic Victors. You might have heard of us. Volcanic Victors. Battle of the Elemental Mountains here? Yeah. OK. Battle of the Elemental Mountains team. And what about yourself? I'm a guard for the team. Guard for the team. Same team? Mm, yeah. Your colleagues. OK, excellent. Well, they kind of take some more notes and things like that. And where are you coming from? Imixan. Imixan? From the same place? You, yes. You were there together? Yeah, the training grounds there are phenomenal. Climbing mountains. Climbing mountains. Oh, very good. How long do you think... How, how long have you been away from Vortensar, roughly, do you think? Say about maybe like a year. About there, maybe. How do you reckon? Couldn't, gonna be honest with you, mate. I don't really remember much no. in terms of dates. We've taken a lot of bashes to the head. But you, but you'd say around a year or Probably so. About a year. Mm, yeah, okay. So. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's right. Um, not too many more questions. Just gonna get through things. Do you have any family or people in the city that you are coming to see, or that you already know, or? We're just coming to look at the, the training grounds here and have a go at training for the upcoming tournaments. Oh, just just for coming for just, the tournaments? Just, not... for, just for tournaments, yeah. You are aware of what's happening in the city? Oh, yes, yes, the uh, the big thing. Yes, yes, of course, yeah, the, the, the trip back home. Yes. Yes, good, so uh, obviously you're aware that, you know, once you come in... It... Oh yes, we're in a few very, days. That, very that's it. Oh, that, yeah. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, do you have Do you have somewhere that you're staying in the city? Do you Do you have a place of residence, or do you have the address of where you'll be staying? Or uh, I think we just lean in. I think we're just gonna We're just gonna look. Around, just try to take it easy. Just see if we can find an inn or somewhere until we mm. get a more permanent residence settled. It's been a we while. We don't have a permanent residence mm. here. Okay. Uh, well, we we will we'll, we will need somewhere that we know that we can find you and contact you. Um, what we've been doing for because we've had a few travellers who have had the same issue, um, who don't know the city very well or may not have gone back. I mean, you know, if you were here a year ago, um, can you think of a tavern or something that you you used to frequent or visit? You know, when you were back in the city last time. Uh, the spicy rabbit rings a bell. Spicy rabbit. Oh, it's not one I know, but I, I can't say I know every inn in the city. So do you think that that's where you might stay? Maybe. We'll probably look for the cheapest place that yeah. we can, to be honest. We don't have that much money. No. Okay, spicy rabbit or cheapest available. Okay. But well, the that... person who was on the ship, yeah, he looked like he. he right? Yeah, he did. The old man. Maybe. Yeah. We an, could... old, an old man from the ship. Okay, old he, man from the he ship. Might, he might help us find a place. But okay, so where, if if he has a place where he's staying, we can use the same location possibly for. I'd just say honestly, put the cheapest inn down. Okay. Yeah. Well, in that case, what we've been saying for folks in your situation, then, if, if this spicy rabbit, you're not able to stay there, uh, he gives you uh, a sort of written out piece of parchment, um, which has the address of an inn, um, a large inn. He's like, this is a sort of traveler's hostel inn. Um, they have a large amount of rooms and things like that. Uh, we have a relationship with them. Uh, we would request that if you don't have somewhere to tell us, you stay here. Mm. Um, okay. he'll, do, give, he'll give you the card. Okay. Uh, do they frag. do they serve alcohol? Yes, yes, yes. There's uh, there's drinking establishments and yes. things like that. Um, but yeah, we would request that you stay here. And the name of this place is just called uh, it's called the the fire pot. The fire pot. That mm -hmm. sounds that sounds cozy. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's here. It's in the. Alcohol. It's here in this district. It's in the fire district. Okay. Um, it's so not too we far. could come back and tell you if we couldn't get a room if it was full. Sure. If you've been telling people, it might yeah. be full now. No, I mean we we keep. That's one of the things that me and my companion were talking about. We have a uh, number of these places okay. around the city. Mm -hmm. We run constant checks to make sure that there's available space. Um, most people who are coming back are staying with family or have other places to be. Um, but we're gonna there. All right. Well, I think this kind of wraps it up for my questions. Um, thank you very much. I now need you both to make one last deception. Oh, no. uh, or, or deception or plus. persuasion. There's none. There's I know, none. I know there's none. So it's just, you know, you've got to base it on the rolls. Oh. No. 14? 14, okay. So, best so far? Deception or persuasion? Yeah. Deception, okay. I would say in this case, deception or persuasion because. Persuasion? <sighs> 
No, because you did actively like make stuff up, so I'm gonna say it's gonna have to be deception, I okay, think, unfortunately. 20. 20? <gasps> okay, so yeah, so just straight 20 for- Unnatural natural 20, yeah. Unnatural natural 20 for deception? Yeah. Wow, Except okay. A plus three. Oh, you actually 17. have a plus three in it, because you have charisma, yeah. right? Oh yeah, that's true. All right, so yeah, okay, that's uh, good to know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this guard kind of is like, okay, well, thank you very much both for your time. Um, they will also give you a uh, kind of little leather, almost like a wallet, um, with like, a, it's very cheap, like a piece of kind of like scrap leather kind of folded in half and pressed stitch seams with another piece of parchment in it, and they stamp it, and they hand this each to you. Just this will recognize you that you've been approved by the by the gate team. Oh, okay. um, if you meet any other guards, you know, they might ask to see your, your immigration uh, okay. seal. Uh, just provide this with them. Keep this, this on new, us at all times. Yeah, this is a new thing that we've introduced because of the upcoming event and because of our relationship with the Valkyrian Empire and these Erosians who uh, we, we're worried that they're going to try and stop people from coming home. Um, we've already had some trouble in the city, so if a, if a guard asks, a just show them trouble. that. Trouble, have you? Nothing for you to worry about, just they've not been attacking citizens or anything like that, causing trouble with the guards, causing trouble with some of the services, but nothing to worry about. We've well got it in hand. We just want to make sure that anybody coming into the city isn't going to be causing trouble. So just keep these on you. Okay. And if anybody asks, make sure you show them. All right? Okay. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks for your time. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank um, you. If you could just let my colleague uh, on the outside know to send in the uh, next uh, individual, I think, oh, yeah. because uh, the rest. Yeah. But, yeah. Enjoy your day. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Have a good day. Thank you very much. Do we? Do you want us to leave the room while the other stuff? Oh, absolutely! On? And could you please uh, <laughs> send one of them in because they all oh, one of they them. none of them claim to be in another group, so they they've got to come in individually. Take my drink with mm -hmm. me. Toodles. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go? Well, this is exciting, isn't it, chat? Isn't this fun? One at a time, please. Yeah, it is I. Tom coming in. He's got to leave. It you is can I. Get a drink, and then you leave. Kemphausen. Okay, go. You gone? Yeah. Okay, he's gone. Uh, so, um, you see Crag and Spark leave. How are they looking? Um, I think that they look okay. I mean, you don't get a big look at them. It's like literally in passing. Um, and as they leave, the guard who's been outside with you is like, okay, yep, yeah, if you could uh, take the next step, please, sir, and sends you in, basically. Um, you go inside, the other Earth Ganassi, a uh, man, um, kind of wearing a guard's uniform, maybe a little bit more senior, uh, is sat down. He's like, oh, please take a seat, sir. Uh, thanks very much for this. I'm so sorry about the misunderstanding about okay. your group and things like that. That's my dad has um, a voice. Hold on. <clears throat> That's okay. <laughs> oh, no, pleasure. Um, if you take a seat, and very quick, just a few questions just to get you through. Uh, could I have your name, please, sir? Uh, my name is Spritz, or what? You may know me by my pen name, Julienne. Okay, Julienne. Well, I, mean, I am afraid I don't, sir, but uh, Spritz is your given name? Yes. Okay, Spritz. Um, and your occupation, please, sir? Food journalist. Food journalist. Um, do you do you write for a particular paper, or is this uh, for uh, books, or...? I used to write for the main magazine in the city. However, I have, since leaving and travelling around Rois, mm. I've been releasing my own uh, fanzine, uh, not fanzine, zine. Mm. You may have heard of it? Uh, I haven't. You say you used to write for one of the main ones in the city. What one was that? Oh, the, 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 the main one. <laughs> mm. I definitely wrote it down. Mm. <laughs> I would love to know. The Four Corners Cuisine. Four Corners Cuisine. He writes it down. You can see them making notes. Four Corners Cuisine. And your, your pen name is Julianne, you said? Julianne. Julianne. Okay. Thank you very much, Julianne. A um, couple more questions. Uh, where are you coming from? Imixan. 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 And uh, how long, roughly, were you in Imixan and what were you doing? Oh, I was there for a few weeks, but uh, I've been traveling around Aroas. I was sampling the local cuisine of Imxan, writing a few notes, and uh, yeah, mm. that's about it. In that case, so you said that you had uh, been in other places around Aroas before Imxan. How long do you think it's been since you were last in Vortensar? Mm, must be a few years. A few years? Could you be a bit more specific? Uh, I... Narrow it down a little? Uh, well, how did dates work in Aroas again? It's the same as Earth. But like months and then, yeah, it's just pretty much the same. Can I like try and give an, a kind of months and a year, like but in a row time? Oh, I think he's more like how many years, like rather than a few years, like oh, okay. you say like two, two years, three years, longer. Uh, I would say probably one year and ten months. 
so let's say two years mm. almost. Two years uh, away. Okay, fantastic. Um, and do you have anyone in the city that you, like any family or people that you're going to be staying with or, you know, people that you're returning for or? Sadly, my family passed away before I left. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's one of the reasons why I decided to go and see the world. Mm. So you don't have anyone in the city that you're going to be staying with or? Uh, I'm not sure. I was going to try and reconnect with a great great grandmother, but I'm not sure if she's still uh, around. Um, but yeah, I thought I would, after meeting my companions on the airship, I thought I might, you know, follow them for a little bit while I try mm. and make some connections so, mm. you know, see who's around, who's not. Excellent. What's your great great grandmother's name? As you were going to reconnect with her. Splash. Splash. Excellent. I'm assuming a water ganassi. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Champion cook. Champion cook. Interesting. Thank you for giving me more details. I, 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 I mean, champion is that she's an excellent mm -hmm. cook, yeah. not that she's, yeah. you know, she hasn't taken partaken famous. in the... Famous. No, I did not say famous. <laughs> I said she's a great cook. That is what inspired my love for culinary arts. And so if you if you're unable to connect with this great great grandmother, do you know where you're going to be staying in the city? Oh, I was going to see uh, where everyone else was staying just for the night while I try and send out some messages and So you don't you don't have a place in mind that you're going to be staying at. Well, look, can we not simply check ourselves into inns now? Or? You absolutely can, but we here at the gate, the gate team, we need to know when we register a new visitor or somebody returning to the city where they're going to be located in case we need to contact you. So, you know, many travelers, they already have somewhere in mind or if they're returning to the city, they have family that they'll be staying with an address they can give us. In your case, as you don't have an address, uh, uh, we have a couple of options. Um, if you don't have a particular inn in mind, and they will pull out a kind of like a little piece of parchment, uh, we would ask that you stay here. Um, uh, it's the address of an inn called the Fire Pot. It's here in the Fire District, um, and we've made sure that we know that there are rooms available there. It's sort of a kind of a traveler's hostel. Um, there's food and drink available as well, but this way we, we know where you are if we need to contact you. If you choose to stay somewhere else, we would ask that you either come and tell us or you send word to us to inform us of where you're going to what? be located. Why is all the security up? We never had any of this in the... No, it's, it's all to do with, I mean, I'm sure, you know, returning to Vortensar, you must be aware of uh, the call that was sent out and the um, upcoming event that's going to be happening. Oh, yeah, I heard rumours about it, yes. Mm. So, because of this, there have been some minor incidents with troublemakers, Erosians, mm. um, but also uh, some people in the city. Uh, we just want to make sure that everyone coming in is, is you know, who they say they are and that they've got good intentions. Um, we want to make sure that this big event, which is so important to the city, uh, does not have any disruptions. Um, and it, these all of these restrictions will be lifted once we're happily re returned to Ganesh. Yeah. So, but it's just, just a temporary measure, I'm afraid. Okay, understandable. Mm. Um, excellent, all right. The thing that I now need from Kim, the player, is a deception check. Right, let's go, come on. Do I use the new dice? No, because they might be terrible. <laughs> curse them! Mm. Oh, Dan House and curse them. Yeah. Huh. 16 plus five, 21. 21. He, the uh, the earth uh, the the soldiers kind of just like all right yeah everything seems in order they pull out they kind of have like this big pouch and they pull out a very cheap sort of leather wallet like a kind of piece of leather folded over and stitched round um, in it is a piece of parchment um, he writes down like your name your occupation roughly where you can be located and then he stamps it with a kind of like seal um, it does look like there's some element of magic you kind of recognize uh, maybe a very faint glow to it and then he hands it back to you and says, uh, this is just your immigration seal. Um, if another guard or any members of the Valkyrian Empire ask, we do ask that you present that to them um, immediately without question, just so that they know you've passed our, our mm. initial kind of uh, mm. test. Um, all right, thank you very much for your time. If you can just let my colleague to send the sure, next one. I will. Any food recommendations? I've been away for a while, so... Oh, I mean... Where do you eat? I mean, I, I don't... I've, I've only got a very meagre salary, sir, but, uh, you know, I, I love to eat here in the district, uh, in the fire district. I've, I've lived and worked here most of my life, so uh, I have a, a big favour for the cuisine. There's an excellent food market on Coal Smoke Street. Ah. Uh, a lot of people tend to go there. It's lots of smaller independent places, but uh, I, I, I do a lot of home cooking, so... Oh, good. Good on you. Good on you. Thank you very much. Just let my colleague to send the next one in, please. Take Thank you very much. Next. Oh, chat. This is a dream. It's a DM's dream. Just making them all answer questions, and none of them have any idea what they've said. Where would you like me to sit? 
Ah, come in. Thank you, sir. Please take a seat here. I'd like to sit over here, please. You can sit wherever you would like, sir. Oh, this is different. Can we just uh, just check in with the security team that that's all right? Yes, it seems to be okay. Oh, <laughs> oh God, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, sir. Hello. <sighs> just getting comfortable. Just making sure Sam's okay with you sitting. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's all fine. Um, Hello. The, the guard will greet you and say, oh, please come in. So sorry about this um, misunderstanding with your group, sir, and to keep you waiting a little bit longer. Hopefully, I won't need to keep you too much longer. We just have some sort of routine questions to ask you before. Oh, we it's our, our mistake. We were traveling since Imixan, but, well, we were kind of a group, but not quite. You see, it was more a travel of convenience for me. Exactly. See, yes. I'm quite old and frail. Mm -hmm. and sometimes I get a little bit exhausted a lot more than I used to. Mm. And they would just hurry me along or, mm. or give me drinks and water and such. It's a very useful group. Lovely fellows, lovely. Mm. But not ones you've known, known long. Oh, no. Uh, no, as I said, we met him in a mix, Anne. Well, uh, if I can come back to that, sir. If I could just first get your name, please. Well, my name is... <laughs> no, 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 Well, my name is Wisp. Wisp. Wisp, that's mm. right. And so um, note a little something down there. <laughs> oh, okay, Wisp, all right. And what's what's your occupation, Wisp? What do you do? Well, I, I'm, I'm retired, have been for many years now. Oh, well, in that case, what did you used to do? Oh, I, I, I well, I was a librarian in, in Callie's Rest. Um, I'm not sure if you've been there. Lovely little librarian. place. Librarian? In, where did you say? Callie's Rest? Callie's Rest. That's somewhere in Aroes. I'm afraid I've never been outside the city. Oh, I, 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 I imagined you'd be quite travelled, but no, it's in Savona. And, uh, Savona. I, try, I was a librarian sorting books, taking requests mm. from people, suggesting mm. classics to any mm. that would like to come on in and the, would want to be wiser. Mm. Excellent. Well, a very, a very... <laughs> Good uh, profession, it seems. Um, and you, you've already mentioned this, and I'm, apologies for asking the same question. You were coming from Imixan, you said? Yes. Oh, interesting. So, and how close is this Suvona and Cali's Rest to Imixan? Why, why did you travel from there to Imixan? So, <laughs> so Vortensar is like north west, right? Uh, it's very, very far southwest. Southwest, whereas yeah. Savona is kind of in would the be middle, way off into the. I thought it was way off to the. Savona is kind of like more more central. It's like one of the more central continents, and then Imixan is the far west. Like, <laughs> um. so 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 I understand it. You are a librarian in Cali's Rest. I, I'm, I I'll come back to that. But then you travelled to Imixan, and then you, now you're coming back to Vortensar. Yes, well, I was on a, uh, a delivery request to begin with. It, I was in Imixan for a few months, you see, uh, initially to pick up a, a long-requested tome uh, that, that someone had requested, and they sent me for God knows what reason. Um, and then I yes, stayed there a while. it would be strange to send such an older, venerable librarian. Retired might, librarian, yes, yes you're right. Did they not have younger apprentices to send or anything not like that? Not all the time. You see, the, the library I worked in in Cowley's Rest, uh, not too mm. long ago, it burned down and they and they lost Gosh. many a tome and uh, many a scroll. And uh, it, was, it was more a volunteering job since I loved the place so much and I figured I, I owed it so much more time than I'd already given it, so I wanted to help out as much I could. Um, oh, that's very, very kind of you. But it, it wasn't a paid job. You didn't. You weren't paid for your services. No, no, no. They they paid my way through my entire life. Oh, uh, I see. So they covered things like food and accommodation. They and covered things. the travel, and and uh, I just wanted to see a little more of the world in my twilight years. You see. Oh, I um, see. And so you you arrive in Imixan, and then is that where you then decided to come back to Vortensar? It was when I then heard the call. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. And, okay. and and uh, I sent many messages back, at, uh, letting them know... Well, who, who did you send messages back to? This would have been to the dean uh, of, of the library in Callie's Rest. I see, so you contacted them to let them know you wouldn't be returning. I wouldn't be returning, and oh, also I that I was, uh, I was not uh, able to locate the requested materials. I see. So, all right, okay. not all lost. 
How long then would you say, if you spent some time in Kelly's Rest and then you travel to Winxan and come back, how long has it been since you were last in Vortensar? Because you must have been born here, I assume, and, and then you decided to travel out many years ago. Oh, uh, yes, well, yes, I, I... How long do you think it's been since you were last in the city? Why, it must be... Uh, upwards of 60 years, I'd say. 60 years? Yes, I... You've uh, not been back in 60 years? No, no, it Goodness was me. very young when I decided to leave and mm. and then spent most of my time travelling from place to place in Savona before I made my roots, I suppose, mm. in Cali's Rest. Um, and Excellent. that's where I stayed for many of my wonder years and now Excellent. here I am back okay. again and it is so lovely to see the place once more. Mm. I'd forgotten so much of it. Yeah, I imagine in 60 years you must have done. And, you, and obviously you mentioned that you heard the course, you were aware of the upcoming events and things like that. Um, one last question, do you have any family in the city, people that you're going to be staying with? Do you know, uh, you do you have family here that, that you're returning to? Or? My closest family was all uh, in Cali's Rest, but un unfortunately have uh, since passed away. Um, and I have no... Heirs or anything like that. No other connections, no brothers or sisters only that would have had families or... Only distant and extended family would have stayed for so long. Distant. Um, but you you don't know who they are or... or it's been such a long time, long I haven't time. made no, contact with them. No, that's understandable. Um, in that case, do you know where you're going to be staying then, sir? Do you have, like, a place in mind? Well, I mean, I was, it's been so long, I imagine not. I was hoping... Well, I was going to ask you, to be honest. Oh, well, that's perfect. We have a system in place. He hands you a piece of parchment, uh, which has got the address of a tavern uh, written down for it. Um, it's called uh, it's called the Brazen Pit. Uh, he says, this is a sort of travelling hostel, um, and we hand these out for people uh, who don't have a specific place. They say, so we know where you are, because we need a, we need a point of contact and address that we can, we can reach you. And to. is this far? No, it's here in the fire district. Uh, okay. It's just on a sort of uh, near closest to the earth district. It's kind of in between. It's in, uh, near the gate that leads to the earth district. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, the brazen pit um, <coughs> it, it gives you actual cough. Yeah, it gives you a, p a piece of parchment with that address on it. Um, and, and yes, if you can just make sure that if you do choose to stay somewhere else, you need to come and tell us and let us know where you'll be staying. Or they, you, know, you know, there can be there, there are fines or there could be some trouble because we need to keep an eye on what, who's coming into the city. Oh, so I'd have to come back all, all the way here. Or you could send somebody. There are messengers and couriers who can deliver oh, a message for amazing. us but you just, it's your responsibility to update us on where we can find you okay. all right Understood. all right fantastic. i don't imagine i'll be traveling far no no i well hopefully not hopefully not and uh, there'll be great celebrations in the next few days um no, i now i need tom hazel to roll a deception check for me. Okay, I know. <laughs> Why did I sit over here? I don't know. That's a great question. I love that you did it, but I just wanted to change it. Yeah, yeah, no, I I it. it's nice. It made here. some great moments. Um, I am also going to impose disadvantage on this, by the way. Why? Because of your terrible, terrible. You forgot your own name. You, well, you you have this bizarre story <laughs> of being in Cali's rest. Then you did a good job, but this is what the deception it was. It was intricate. It is, but that's why I'm giving you disadvantage. Advantage because yeah, right. you've weaved a complex tale. Yeah, exactly. exactly. A long life leg. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, fine. Well, the first one. Okay, the second one was so a disadvantage. Wow. 18 okay. twice. Okay. So I great. got a 19. Is that on the new High Rollers dice? That is. Oh. There you go. Glitter dice. So, no, so okay. 19. Okay. Eat that. Eat that. Perfect. Oh, all right. <laughs> Um, he will sort of nod and say, okay, that's great, thank you, sir. He hands you a, like, leather wallet kind of folded in half, stitched around the outside, um, and when you open it, there's a piece of parchment there, and you, he writes down your name, he writes down retired librarian, writes down some information, what uh, tavern you'll be staying at, and then he stamps it, and you can tell that there's a very minor piece of magic in the stamp. Um, and he closes it up and says, this is your immigration seal. If any of the Ganassi guards or any of our um, friends from the Valkyrian Empire ask to see your identification, you must present this to them. It's very important that you do that, all right? Okay. Um, and yeah, we'll keep, we'll, we'll, you know, we've got you on record now. Um, enjoy the city and, and, and look forward to things. And thank you very much for your time. If you can just let my colleague know to send the next one in. Of course, please, uh, yes, absolutely. Has it been a long day for you? No, no, it's, I'm happy to uh, do it. Happy to keep the sorry. city safe. Good. <sighs> Okay. Thank you very well, much. I'll just get the next one. Thank you very much, sir. It won't be long. Oh, come on in, please. What? Just grab my phone so I can go pee. Sorry. Shit. Ah, oh, hello there, sir. If you could, uh, can we? Sorry, uh, my colleague, could you shut the door, please? I'm sorry. 
Thank you. Right Excellent. Thank you so much. So sorry to keep you um, waiting and oh, yes. sort of it's this mix up with your group and the you know, not ideal circumstances, but no, no needs it, must. I assume. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, just a couple of very quick questions. Sure. Uh, just setting up a couple of like basic things, um, and then we can get you on your way. Uh, yes. Is it, sir? Yes, it is, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Um, can I get your name, please, then? Azure. Azure. Okay. Excellent. The, the flick on the e, if you wouldn't mind. A Azure. Like yes. you said, yes, I've, I've sort of, yeah, I've, I've made a note of the Excellent. Uh, explanation. Sorry, it's important stage name and all that. I was going to say, well, could you, I asked you, what do you do then? So stage name, are you a musician, a performer? I'm a performer, yes, on the stage, uh, looking to create new stories and bring them back to Vought and Tsar. It's about time the younger generation had a oh. impact on tradition. Brilliant. Marvellous. And what perfect opportunity. Absolutely. So you're aware of everything that's happening in the city then, and you know about the events coming up? Oh, very excited. Very good, very good. Excellent. Um, where are you coming from then, Mr. Azure? Oh, I've come from all over. I've been travelling for the entire journey. Oh, OK. Well, let, let, let's start with where, we, where was you before you arrived here in Vortensar? Where was your last, uh, ah. last destination? My mistake. Absolutely. So, uh, obviously, I boarded the airship with everybody else at... Uh, <laughs> it's... Uh, Oh, it was that little port I've been travelling for so long. Mm. Mm. Kaylee's Rest, was it? No. Imixan. Imixan, that's the one. So you, you were last in Imixan? Imixan, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned Kaylee's Rest. Is that somewhere that you've been before? Or is, is that another place? It's just the old location? man keeps saying that in his sleep or something. I see, OK. All right. Um, and then you mentioned that you sort of travelled around a lot before then as well. I'm yeah, it's you just trying to roads. gain inspiration, mm. I'll be honest. <laughs> Okay. I'm a young thespian of the arts, and uh, sometimes the local produce wires the brain wrongly, and I indulge. Oh, I see. Yes, I and see. I forget sort of where forget. I've no, been. No, 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 that's fine. I mean, we're not here to judge, just ask some questions. Yes. So I am, could I assume then that you were in an exam for performance-related matters, as you said, sort of learning these stories and it was things? It sort of my last stop, actually, mm. uh, because I heard, obviously everyone heard, mm. the news that Vought and Saar was returning, mm -hmm. and we had the, uh, the image that projected, mm. um, and I had to immediately return home mm -hmm. because my, my job needs to finish. Excellent. When was the last time you were in the city? Uh, if you've been travelling around for a while, could you give me a rough... Just in years uh, or, or months or however long it's been? Six years. Six years. I'm very confidently said, six years. So the last time you were here in Norton Vontsar was six years. Mm. OK, excellent. Yep. And you said that you've been travelling around OS um, during that time. And yes. Im exam was your last port of call. Living like a nomad. Mm. OK. Excellent. Living life every day as it comes. Mm. Oh, that's fine. Um, On the edge. Do you have any family in the city, or do you have any people that you're you're coming home to? Oh, I or? certainly hope not. Oh, you hope you hope not. I did have family here, yes. You but did. I, I, I've fallen out of contact with them. They didn't. They didn't want me to pursue my career, should we say? Oh, I see. Well, I I understand it's obviously a very difficult personal thing, but could I? I will need their name. Okay. <sighs> Amule. Amule. Is that uh, mother, father? Mother. Mother. Are you in contact with any other members of your family? None, or? No, 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 just just the mother then. I'm the black sheep. I see. All right. So Amelie, um, but you're not in contact with them now. You don't intend to stay with them or, or visit them or anything like that. No, I hope to avoid them. Mm, okay. All right. Do you know where you're going to be staying in the city? Uh, I'll Do you have anything the, planned? Uh, the air quarter, likely. I will need a specific address if you have, um, like, an inn that you know of that you're going to be staying at, or a friend's oh, house, or... of course. Yes, it's likely I'm going to be staying at uh, Coal Smoke Street, roughly. Uh, oh. The Spicy Rabbit. Coal Smoke Street is interesting. Um, but you said you were staying in the air quarter. Oh, is that not there? I was definitely given directions to that. Interesting. Well, I'm afraid. No, I'm afraid that the uh, Coal Smoke Street is in the is here in the Fire District, so it's actually a favourite location of mine. So uh, well, that's where the theatre is. Uh, it should be near it, right? No, no, no. Coal, Coal Smoke is a food district. It's a food market. Uh, no, no theatres. No, no that inns really. Bloody miscreant! Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Well, luckily we do have a, we do have a system in play. Uh, what we do is, is for folks, uh, because we, we need to have a point of contact for, we need to know where we can reach you. Uh, right. What we do is we, we arrange uh, for places for you to stay. Um, we have a, a, you know, if you don't have somewhere already, uh, he hands you a parchment which has the address of an inn. Um, I wasn't told about this. 
No, that's right. Uh, well, it's. I've it's, already paid rent on this place. On I think what, I've been swindled. I think you have, sir. So, uh, luckily, I mean, I'm sure if you mention it to the the proprietor of the Brazen Pit, uh, they will be able to like at Brazen least give you Pit. maybe some sort of discount. What star um, rating is this place? I mean, it's a traveler's it's a traveler's rest. It's it's you know it's it's comfortable rooms, but it will be slightly busy. Um, but uh, we, but we ask you if you do change your plans, if you find out where this place that you're supposed to be staying, or if you choose somewhere else, you just it's your responsibility to tell us. Um, right. There are fines, and there could be further charges if you don't. Don't update but of course, if we don't, location. if I somehow like these, this situation, I don't need to update you. No, no. If you're happy with the brazen pit, then obviously you can just stay there, and we have that on record for you. Right. All right. Um, excellent. The last thing I need from Chris Trot is a deception check with disadvantage, please, because what? of that absolute <laughs> fuck up with the the way you were staying. Uh, no. Yes. You named. You said air quarter, and then you named a place in the fire district. Uh, Shit. So yeah, that's that's got this guy's like he's he's suspicious. Fifteen. Oh, with this with disadvantage. Dis disadvantage please. Come on, bless me, blessing dice. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. All right. Um, he'll sort of like nod and sort of like write some things down. Then he pulls out a leather sort of wallet, uh, sort of folded in half, very roughly stitched. Inside is a piece of parchment. He writes on it your name, your occupation, where you can be located, this brazen pit, um, and then he stamps it, and you can tell that there's a very slight magic to the stamp, and um, he hands it to you, says, this is your immigration seal. If any other guards or our friends in the Valkyrian Empire ask to see it, they, you know, please do show them that, show them that you've been approved by the gate team. Um, like I said, do keep us updated on your current location, um, and if there's any any issues, we'll contact you, we'll, we'll try and find you in the city uh, to let you know if there's any other problems, but as far as I'm concerned, we're done here today. Um, thank you very much. I think there's just one more from your team who will deal with uh, from your, your sort of traveling uh, group. Um, and then, yeah, but you're, you're happy to head into the city, sir. Thank you very much. I've got a question. Yes, of course. Uh, security here. Mm. Um, are we safe? Because there's a war. Raging. Absolutely, absolutely. There have been there's been some very minor incidents, sir. But you don't have to worry. They've not targeted any of the sort of public services or streets. It's mainly been focused on military. Our friends from the Valkyrian Empire. These sort of I hate to use the word. But these sort of they they're young upstarts. I wouldn't even call them. You know, some people call them terrorists, but really that makes them sound so much more scary than. What in Vortensa? They're they're young rebels. I was talking about outside. Oh, outside. I mean, no, but tell me about what's going on inside. No, I mean, outside you're perfectly safe, sir. I mean, that's why we've got our friends here. They're protecting us. Right. Um, no, there's there's a, a there's very a small a group rebellion? of young rebels who are just sort of trying to cause trouble. But they they're not. You won't have to worry about them. It might make a good story. Yeah. Perhaps perhaps one day. Um. But yeah, enjoy enjoy the time. Uh. If you're performer, I'm sure that you'll be checking out our guiding star. Of uh, course. Performances are amazing. Uh, please do go and see them if what you get the chance. What an inspiration. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, thank you very very much for your time. Thank you. Uh, right. You can just bring everyone else in now, yeah. Because it's only You K may left. come in now! It's only K left and I can uh, handle that, so. We broke back. in through the back. Hello. 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 Are you still in character or? No, no, you're all right now. We are peeing right now. Yep. Are we are peeing? I need to know. Uh, Pass so my lemonade. When, when some Rhiannon gets in your chair. Yeah. Uh, we, the first thing is once we've got everyone, it's, I've brought We're you all back in jail. In. Well, I brought you back in to basically go, it's time for a break. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but we need to bring everyone back in to kind of like round it all off. Um, but what we'll say before we go to break, I'll set the scene. Uh, you guys, where you were, where you were sort of you know, passed through the gate team, um, and you received your new immigration seals. Everyone uh, did. You are led through, um, and you arrive out into the city, and you sort of wait around, um, and it takes, you know, what, like 15, 20 minutes, um, as each of you have these, like, brief interviews, and then eventually gonna... you are all reunited on the other side. But yeah, go ahead, Trump. I was gonna do a little look at this seal mm -hmm. and do a arcana check to check what type of magic it mm. is. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, please do. That's a three, so nine. You need, you would need like Quite more shiny. investigative magic, yeah, like detect magic or ident identify. Ideally, identify is what you would need See, to know. It's what it magical. Is. Yeah, but you, you know it's magical. I mean, like a few of you kind of spotted that. Um, but yeah, you all kind of sync up afterwards, um, and you meet out on the street. Um, we you didn't. Can, you got to say we can do like because we were a little bit late starting. You can have like ten minutes to quickly chat amongst yourselves, uh, and then we'll go on break. I, th I think we did it. Can I roll an insight you... check to like? So my post interview, like, how did I feel that went with the interviewer? Um, yeah, sure. You can make a, a post insight check. Sure. That's a ten. A 
10. I mean, as far as you're aware, like, yeah, it seems like the fact that they, they didn't hold you for any longer, they let you pass through, you've got your seal, like, yeah, everything seems okay. Yeah, did everyone get their seals? Uh, I've got my yeah. seal. I guess Where have I've... you got to go? It's like, yes, yes, not a problem for me. Mm -hmm. I have to go to a tavern here in the fire. What's district. the name? Brazen Pit? Uh, yes. Sorry, I, I sat so far away from my notes for some fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> he literally, he chose to sat in Trot's seat, and Why? he was like, well, also, Tom, do you want to tell them what else you forgot? Uh, I, well, oh, we, heard. we heard. We I, heard you shout it uh, through the door. I forgot my fucking name. Yeah. <laughs> and he was, like, reaching over. I was like, no, 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 you sat there. You don't get to look at your notes. But it's okay, because we're through now. And now we have to go to the brazen pit. That's the one. I remember I that. I oh. got told a different place. Where did, yeah, oh, we, we got shit. told the fire. The fire pot. Mm. Yeah, we got told the oh. fire. I got told the fire pot. What about you? K. Brazen pit. What did K get? K. K. Uh, K. You. The three of you. Yeah, he would have got the brazen pit as well. Or they would have got the brazen pit because no. She would have got the brazen because she's currently a female fire Ganassi, I think. Oh. Um, so she's just like, uh, yes, brazen pit for me. Uh, so we don't have to go there, right? Did they describe it to you, like what it looked like, what it was for? No. It was I, was, I was informed that it was for security reasons, and if we are to travel anywhere other than the assigned locations, we would um, need to inform a guard. Yes, yeah, so they said that it was our responsibility to inform them if we Obviously, changed the place. There was a, they mentioned a fine, perhaps some criminal charges. If, if, oh, I didn't get told uh, that. Oh, we didn't get told oh, that. Didn't get told that. Strange. Yeah, we were told the fire pot was like a hostel kind of yeah. thing. And it serves alcohol. Oh, I got told about the food. Oh, mm. food and alcohol. Mm. I'd like to make an insight check to remember where the hell I was meant to go. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, you don't need to make a check for that. You, yeah, I mean, yeah, well, you, 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 have you, you have the piece of paper. Yeah, you have the little address. It's, oh, it's it actually, has it on the. Yeah, okay. yeah, it has the address on it. Um, and yeah, it's two different taverns. Like the 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 groups got like the 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 first two got told to go to the fire pot. Okay. Um, I got fire and then pot. the second, the the next three. So the first three effectively got told to go to the fire pot, and then the next three got told to go to the brazen pit. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just a capacity issue. Yeah. Perhaps. Could be. Maybe. Perhaps. We, we could ask when we're there. How about we check in just to make sure everything's kosher and then... What's kosher? Kosher. Everything's all good. Oh, I've never heard that expression before. Yeah, strange. In well, this world. Well, that's kosher. <laughs> Let's go to our respective places yeah. and have a meeting point. Okay. Because mm. we're allowed to leave. We have to tell them, though. No, no, as in, we can just go about town. It's there not like is we're locked festival, in our confines. It's just where we stay, right? We don't really need to go there right now. I'm just saying it might be worthwhile if there's a security check. This is magical in nature. It might be waiting for it to arrive at its destination first to know that we've gone there. Can, this, can this thing hear us? Can I arcana check? Oh, this God. Uh, no, because <laughs> it would be basically repeating exactly what Lucius did. This I mean, now needs an identify spell. Well, I was going to... Yeah, <laughs> I mean, how, where, how many like guards are around? How many people are around? I, it's if, if as long as you're not doing something that is flashy and bright and explosive, like an identify spell, you can do relatively subtly. You can just like the others can crowd around you yeah. and like hide you from doing it. If it was more like loud and like you know, it was a bigger, more powerful spell, then you there's you would have to make checks to try and avoid like being noticed doing it. But I'd say for an identify spell, you don't need to. Like that's that's an easy one you can get away with without doing um, anything too much. Okay. And also, whilst Tom is doing that, no, a quadrant. Yeah. Oh. Your morning has been spent doing these checks at the gate because they had to split you up and it had to take some additional time. Yeah. Obviously, it only took like 15, 20 minutes for us in real life. It, in game, it would have taken like yeah. most a lot of the of waiting, morning. Yeah. Right, yeah, it was a lot of waiting around. Also, your incognito score has been set to 21. I have no I idea what, what that means. You have no idea what that No, exactly. What that, was it before? Or No, that was, was that was that setting set. it. That is the last time you get to see that score unless you spend time to find out what oh. it is. If there are any changes to that score now, they will be right. done in separate. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, 21 sounds good. If it's a 21 in terms of, out like, of a a dice roll, that's pretty good. What if the 1,000 is incognito and 21 is not incognito, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't so, before we go on break, what is the decision? Where are you going? What do you want to do next? I, I think we'll we're all going to go to our respective inns, inns uh, yeah. taverns, inns, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, 
I think, yeah. And but I, I think, think, yeah, I would, I would like to identify as well. All right. In that case, we'll end it on as Kor completes the identify spell. Um, you learn that it's a very minor enchantment. Um, in, in of itself, it's divination in nature. Um, in, a, in of itself, it can't scry on you. It's not listening in, mm -hmm. but it will react to other magic. Its purpose oh. is to be like a like an ident like a like a ping like a kind of like a, a mark right, right. and like so a five G tower kind of yeah like basically you know if you go to somewhere and somebody casts maybe a certain types of spells or uses a certain item it might like register that that emblem. Um, and you suspect as well that the information presented on it is tied to that as well. Sure. So, like, somebody will basically be able to, like, scan your ID or, like, flag and be like, so-and-so just arrived at this place and stuff like Did that. Can you microchip us? Basically, yes. But it, you can ditch it, you can throw it away, but if you don't have it, then yeah. you suspect that will probably be a problem if you were asked for one. That's Does that mean we can go through cat doors now? <gasps> <laughs> yes, yeah, you can get through yes. cat doors. Fuck yeah! Yes. Um, but that's pretty much, yeah, and it's, it's like, like, on its own, as long as you don't go to a place that's gonna like t you know check it, and you, you Quill, you would know that the magic required for this is you're not. It's not gonna be every location in the city, mm -hmm. but I would say Quill's wisdom is high enough, and the fact that they've given you these two different taverns, and they were like, oh yeah, we've got this system that like if you don't have somewhere to stay, here's where you should go stay, and we're gonna write this down now. You suspect that both of these places will probably have some sort of like ping like mm -hmm. yep this person just arrived they're here now they've left what times that kind of thing it will track that kind of information so okay all right okay and on that we're gonna take a break that's the end of part one communicate Thanks for joining to us. everyone yeah what just fyi huh? that, that was communicated to everyone right. what you just said there. yeah there yeah. you go yeah i mean i uh, yeah i assume that that's always the break case. time yeah, that's it <laughs> end of part one we'll see you for part two on our special halloween episode thanks for joining us we'll see you in part two in a minute bye see you good Hello, welcome back to part two of Aroas High Rollers. Uh, we are here on our Halloween episode, and the party have just entered the city of Vortensar. Having been stopped at the gate, they had to answer several questions in interviews before entering the city and having an immigration seal provided to them, uh, which has now set the party's incognito score as they maneuver in and explore the city. Um, and they've come to realize they've been given two different locations for places to spend the evening and they are about to make their way. The very last thing was Quill used Identify Spell to figure out exactly what these uh, immigration seals do. Yeah. He's learned that they are sort of tracking spells of a sort that will only get flagged at certain locations or times. Um, yeah. But yeah. And also, they were kind of like trackers as well. Not, uh, they can ping us as well. They Well, only if they if you encounter somebody who can cast like certain spells or like does certain things. It's right. basically, yeah. these are a way of making other spells easier to use and at longer ranges and things like that. But certain locations may automatically like register when you arrive, when you leave, that sort of thing. Um, okay. But they are just physical little sort of like wallets, basically. Um, so can easily be got rid of, can be like given to other people, can, you know, it's, it's, it's a rudimentary system, but it has to be done on a mass scale, so they can't make it too, too powerful, too specific. It definitely has flaws. Um, that can be exploited, but then there are also consequences for such things. Sure. So, perfect. Um, and that is where we pick back up. That was like a really clown-like sneeze. <laughs> there was like a real, like, <laughs> to it. I just realized we kind of looked like that meme of, like, the goth sister and the rainbow sister. You actually do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very, th that table is like a very different palette. It's like the two ends and then trot in the middle and just is like, yeah! What's on board number B? Yeah. <laughs> it's number wang. Let's rotate the board. <laughs> then I come uh, out. Yeah. <laughs> devil baby. <laughs> it's a devil, devil baby. baby. Yeah. Devil come baby. on down, devil baby. Come on uh, down the stairs, devil baby. I'm a big fan of, of Ghost Files. Yeah. Uh, guys. <laughs> right, with that, uh, so hand it over to you guys um so yeah so in terms of like our daily we've got the four quadrants right yes the um, city is split into the four districts and oh and i mean time time wise oh yes so, yes yeah so are we currently operating on a this quarter 
uh, we're doing this, or yes, basically any any sort of like main task. So, if, like, let's say you were like, we're all gonna go travel to our inns. We're gonna go check in and figure those out and stuff like that. You'll basically be spending a quarter of the day kind of doing that and any sort of minor tasks. Any sort of big task that you want to do is probably gonna cost at least one of these segments. Sure. Um, you can also choose to spend um, segments to gain flashback tokens. So you would basically be like, I'm go we're gonna spend, you know, maybe Trot and I are gonna spend one quarter setting things up to earn a flashback token that you can then use later. Yeah. Um, you can also use two segments of a day to find out what your incognito score is if you think that it's massively fluctuated. But right now, 21. That is what it has been score. set at, um, and you have not done anything else to influence it yet. Sure. Um, I won't tell you when it's influenced, but obviously nothing else has happened, so... And is there any indication of how close our two places are together? Uh, I think the only one who might have a chance of knowing that would be Nova, Hiya. and that would require, I would say, a history check uh, for, like, local knowledge. What I've been bashed in the head a lot since what I left. What about K? Uh, Kay isn't from here. Kay is a changing. Kay doesn't really, really know anything more. Kay, Kay is, if you have anything where you want to have a change to your disguise, or you need a new disguise, um, or if you want to use one of their sort of like minor magic items, like their perfume and things like that that they had, um, they can provide you those. But apart from that, they are like, I'm going to go to my inn, I'm going to go check in, and I will be remaining there. I am not. I am not here to help you with your mm. shenanigans. I have been paid to do a service, and that is what I intend to do. Um, and they will just sort of like raise their hands, like that is where I am going. That is where you can find me. Uh, okay. Sixteen. Sixteen on the history. Yes. I think that you would probably know the fire pot, um, but the brazen pit is not one you're familiar with. Uh, that was. A, it's kind of closer to the Earth Ganassi. Mummy uh, didn't let gate. me go there. Uh, well, I mean, it's up to you how. Well, if, that's, if that's what you want to uh, want to establish. Um, but the fire pot you you have at least heard of. Mm. Um, it is basically like a big travelers hotel, kind of like a travel lodge or like <laughs> a, a holiday inn. Uh, kind of like it is mainly catering to like people that come and go on like a short term basis. Um, you know, there are there are much nicer, finer inns. These are fairly comfortable but pretty cheap. Pretty basic. I know where to go. Well, for us at least. I've never really heard of the brazen. What was it? The brazen pit. Pit. No. Was... Yes, yeah, doesn't sound enticing, inviting. Doesn't sound like they'd have goose down feather pillows, that sort of thing. Probably not. No. Maybe egg and pillows though. Oh. Made of clowns. That sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it's not going to have that. In terms of... Better than the, the other nasty pillows. You know the fire pot is at least a good walk from where you currently are. Like, it's still... You know, th th this is a big city. Like, getting around. You know, you've been to, like, big cities like Seattle and London and stuff like that before. Like, you know, getting around, especially on foot, um, can be quite time-consuming and, like, you've got to navigate it, especially if you don't know where you're going and stuff. So. Are there any of the, like, the... Would we take any of the public transport things, like the fire elevators or anything like uh, that? Or? Not for these places, no. These, like, generally it's the, uh, like, sort of higher society stuff that tends to be built in the upper sections. Ooh, hoity -toity. Uh, yeah, basically. It's just because, like, you know, the air is nicer, you get less sort of pollution, it's quieter. Farts, yeah. yeah. Farts um, go down. Being in the fire district as well, is this is very much an industrial district. A lot of uh, the fire district is occupied by forges and foundries and workshops and things like that. Um, so it does, there is, like, almost this kind of dull orange haze in the air um, from all the kind of like ash and spew and embers and stuff kicked up into the air it kind of creates its own micro uh, climate in the district so it has this kind of like dull burnt burnt umber kind of glow to everything um, but not when you get into the higher districts basically the higher parts of the area um, but yeah uh, so yeah if you guys just want to head to your respective places I think um, Nova's going to lead the way and as she leads the way, she's going to be excitedly like pointing things out to everyone, like you know, this is my home, and I've come back, and I've brought everyone here, and I'm wow. like, oh, and and that's where I used to have a paper route, and 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 I'm, oh, that's What's a really a paper good route? restaurant, and yeah, it was a newspaper, you know, the the thing, and oh, and 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 over there, over there, oh, I I learned how to cycle over there. Cycle. I say cycle. Bicycles don't exist in this universe, probably. Um, I learned how to levitate over there. Why there? Ground. Good ground for levitating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
soft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, that's where the bullies pushed me over and stole all my stuff. Oh, no. Um, it's fine. It happens. It's fine. <laughs> where are they now, huh? Not saving the world Dead, like yeah. you. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> brazen strength. <laughs> The so there comes a point where you will have to diverge. If the if K, uh, Quill, and Lucius are going to go to the Brazen Pit, they will divert from the rest of the group. Is that the plan? I mean, yeah. We're going to have to split off, old man. Uh, well, we're going to the same place. No, as we're, we're, oh. we're splitting oh. off really from getting, everyone else. I feel stupid in this outfit. <laughs> you don't Do look it. You smell at it. all. You I don't look, look stupid. Convincing. Nice. How do I smell? Stupid. Awful. Awful. I, that Awful. smells not mine. Oh, I was hoping for just. Oh, you know, like oh. No, it's pretty. It's pretty terrible. Oh. I've been Sorry. holding my breath this whole time. Yeah. Um, anyone who stands next to you is not going to have a great time. Did the interviewer Good. notice your smell? Or were they quite professional? Oh, I, they didn't say anything. But it's probably very, just trying not to. Extremely yeah. impressive. I mean, no one, no one, you know, tried to frisk me, which is good. Which was the point. <laughs> True. True. So, you know. So, Brazen Pit, hands up. Oh. Yes. Right. Well, I, I, we need a time of day or some sort of meeting point. Well, what, what's the plan after we check in and check out the place and whatever else? How about we all try and find a way to keep these little slips in the place we're staying as if we're remaining there? and then we all meet up without them. We might get in trouble, though, if we get, you know, stopped for a random search or have yes, to Yes, I know, it's exciting, though, isn't it? But yeah. then you'd get arrested. <gasps> I don't want that, no. no. That would kind of blow our cover really soon. All right, oh, let's act like regular people that are just meeting up after checking in. I am a regular Ganassi. We'll go find somewhere to maybe just get a drink or what people do. Or I... a particular type of meal in a particular place. I, I want to, true. yeah, I want to make contact as soon as possible. I think the le more time we, the less time we spend, the more, the less time, the time. We don't have time. We don't have time. We have seven days. We don't have time. <laughs> so we all need to go to Coal Smoke Street. Yes. Okay. So let's all meet there and say, I don't know how long it's going to take us to walk to the Brazen Pit with his bag, but. I can speed it up. Let's say the quarter. <laughs> Uh, of yeah, I mean, day. you can say that, like, yeah, like in the afternoon, right? Like, mm. you basically the quarters. It's early morning, uh, early off, like afternoon, evening, and night time. So it'd basically be like, okay, we spent the, the morning doing the gate stuff. The afternoon would be like checking into your hotel. So it'd be an evening. You'd be going to the food market. Like, and we, I say evening, I mean like kind of like your yeah, six Late to afternoon. six to like yeah, yeah, six to like nine o'clock, six mm -hmm. to ten. All right, morning. everyone, okay with that? The night time is like sleeping, okay. typical sleep time, right? Now those with. Um, Penises? Spritz. Hi. I don't have anything right now. <laughs> I requested nothing down there. How it's, do you? It's very it's unusual. liberating. I always feel like... That's why I got there. rid of them. It's just not worth it. <sighs> Wibbly bits. Yeah. Anyway, um, you've got the advantage of knowing the area, so give us a chance to catch up, okay? Don't go in and meet Nanny without me. I'd be devastated. Don't worry, of course. Great. All right. See you later, athletes. Yeah. You don't remember our names, do you? Craig and Spark. <laughs> Volcanic Victors. Right. We got All right. this. All right. In that case, uh, you guys, I will take this back and mark off another segment of time as, yeah, you guys head to your respective inns. Uh, along the way, there's a couple of details that you note in different groups. Um, the group going to the Brazen Pit, uh, for you, uh, let me roll, say, 10 or 100, it's that one. Okay. As you guys are making your way towards this Brazen Pit, you pass by, um, you know, you're walking down the streets, and everything in the city has a sort of mood and feeling of anticipation. Uh, parades are being planned. You can see bunting and, and you know, flyers and pennants are being hung up. Um, 
and there is this kind of excitement building in in the town and you can see kids running around um, and sort of like playing and laughing you do see guards walking around and kind of keeping a heavy patrol maybe maybe more guards than you're used to seeing in cities um, but they keep a friendly atmosphere and even Valkyrian soldiers like you notice like a group of Valkyrian soldiers kind of marching together in a very strict rigid method um, they stop uh, as, uh, you know, they see, like, uh, an old Earth Ganassi who's, like, selling fruits and vegetables. Like, his cart's, like, broken and the wheels kind of come off and he's trying to fix it and he's got some locals helping him. But the soldiers stop and they all, like, move over and they lift the car while they get a block under and they have this, like, conversation and you can see, like, back and forth, like, oh, how, how are you doing? Like, yeah, we'll buy some for the barracks and, you know, they buy some of the, you know, merchandise and things and all the people there are just like, oh, thank you so much and, like, you know, the kids are, like, coming up to them, looking at them amazed. Like, there's almost, a like, a, 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 an idolism, a heroism here and, like, seeing these kind of cool space soldiers, you know, the, the, the kids really, you know, and everyone seems to really mm. empathize with. Um, and the soldiers are, for what you see, heroic and noble and sort of helpful. Uh, as you're making your way... We were wrong. You begin to see... Mm, I told you. You should have listened to me from the start. <laughs> various parts of the city, um, and both sides will see this in, in sense, so the group heading towards the fire part as well. Sections of the city... You can see Magitech crystal screens have been erected and like placed on the sides of buildings or like put into public plazas, almost like giant, yeah, like giant screens really, with illusions and magic projecting images and sounds onto them or out of them, like the like the screens and things that you saw in the Valkyrian um, astral spaceships and things like that. But these have been built for like a more um, uh, commercial purpose and on them you see not like advertisements for products but you see like music videos like kind of illusory recordings of Shansara this autumn Eladrin dressed in like fire ganassi clothing um and the one well you probably would see different ones so one group sees her in like fire ganassi clothing and it's projecting this song and she's like singing and dancing and she has like ganassi performers with her and it's the the song is uh, you pick up on I'll roll a d4 to see which song you got you get. four songs Amazing. i've well for now i have four songs there are, <laughs> there could be more songs an album. i thought she was releasing an album yeah yeah she can have a she can have one uh so uh, right the now. one that yeah. uh, one group the fire ganassi one uh, the song is called Play our dance um, and it's all about how like the planes work together and the, it's like a, you know, a beautiful medley of all the different planes working together and there's all Ganassi dressed up as different planes you actually see like some Ganassi like air Ganassi dressed as angels from Elysium right and like they show like a backdrop of her like performing in Elysium and singing this song about like how life is this beautiful dance and everything else and everyone's coming together in unity for the better of everything and, and you see that in these crowds these screens like there are like like dozens of Ganassi that sit down and watch them and they cheer and they sing along and like they are just in adoration of this person and then at the end when the music kind of stops and you kind of catch the end of it um, there is almost like a section where it then cuts to Shansara and Harmony um, meeting and like you can see Harmony for the first time those of you who you know Nova would recognize them Harmony is a Ganassi of all four elements um, there is no discernible gender. They are very sort of androgynous in form, but also kind of non-binary in that way. Um, elements of air, earth, and fire, and, and water all kind of combine together. Their skin has this almost gemstone, diamond-like quality, and then rising from them are almost these kind of uh, wispy, bluish flames. Uh, and you can see that their hair flows upwards like a kind of nebula, like a cloud, and it kind of distills around them. Um, and then their, uh, and then from their, I'm trying to think of a good water kind of like analogy. I think it would be almost like frost, kind of like coating their skin, like in patterns, like swirling patterns and things like that, all over this kind of like gemstone, like, you know, uh, colored kind of like skin pattern. Um, they are very young. You kind of get the sense that they're probably sort of like 19 or younger. Um, and uh, they look very nervous, but Shansara kind of has her arms around them and is showing them off to this crowd and, you know, delivering this speech about going home and soon, soon, my be the beautiful city of, of Vortensar, soon we will be returning to Ganas. Harmony and I have been working diligently with all the engineers and scientists and magicians of the city, along with my loyal Valkyrian heroes to help us send the city home. And then you hear Harmony speak for the first time and in this very soft, very whispered, 
very melodic kind of gentle voice. Um, they are like, yes, my people, we are. I am so happy to be taking us home. Something that we have, something that will live on in the history of our people forevermore. We were brought here not by choice, but our choice to go home will be ours. And you know, this kind of like beautiful kind of like political kind of speech, it's all very like cut and magically stitched together with illusory magic and things like that. Um, and yeah, it's just this kind of propaganda video basically mixed in with this kind of music video. Um, and then on the, the other group kind of get a very similar thing. Maybe it's a different speech. It's a different song. Uh, Shansara actually looks more like a winter Elantrian and it's more like uh, water Ganassi clothing. Um, and this one is called uh, Our Ganassi's Love Heart. Ugh. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, I wrote lyrics. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sing them. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Wait a minute. Play um, this bit backwards. Huh? Play this bit backwards. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Join, Join the, the empire. Navy. Join the empire. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, you know, and again, very similar kind of concept, right? Like very kind of put together magical music video, and then at the end of it, like propaganda. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> um, but um. It, it has this genuinely like believable message yeah. of like, yeah, like we're gonna do this and we're gonna go home and the Erosians don't want us here anyway. So let's go back to where, you know, where we're from and Shan and, and Shansara, the other thing you pick up on is everyone refers to Shansara as our guiding star or the guiding star. Um Bright Star, very much those kind of like names and emblems. Um and that's kind of like the ongoing themes as you guys are making your way to your various destinations. Oh. Um, can I, um... Yeah, absolutely. Two things. Can I roll an arcana check to see if there's anything more, like, coming out of these illusions? Like, some kind of... Like, knowing Shansara, sure. some kind of charisma... Yeah, sure, yeah. You can, like, you can see if there's, like, an, in, an enchantment yeah. or some sort of mind-affecting um, magic at work here. Uh, what's 18 plus 9? 27. 27. That's what you 27. 27. Confidently, you can say, there is not. These are just, just projection illusions, like programmed well, illusions. Powerful. Yeah. But yeah, there's no, like, you know, there's no magical generator which is casting charm spells or suggestion spells or anything like that. This is just good old classic, like, giving people something to believe in that, you know, uh, and a, a message that they can, they can focus on. Gross. I hate this. Ew. Yeah. The taverns themselves, I don't have like a massive plan for these. Um, they are pretty much sta pretty standard inns. Uh, I think, to be honest, we're just going there to basically like get a room, in, to yeah. put your yeah. stuff down, king ourselves. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like, and I think Quill would pick up on this, and maybe Nova when you arrive at the other end. Um, you do notice uh, Ayla probably spots them first because of your passive perception. Um, when you enter the inn there is a device kind of built into the door frame, like on either side, um, and it seems to, and it, and you look around and you know, any other sort of like entrances and exits, they have these like round Valkyrian spheres, like crystal spheres with runes etched into them. Um, and when you sort of like, you notice them, maybe you point them out to Nova or something, and based on what Quill told you, yeah, you can definitely suspect that these things register and and connect with the these seals that you've been given. Um, and probably that's part of this magic system in, in place. Um, but yeah, you arrive. There's a, a Ganassi behind the behind the you know the various desks in either place. Um, for the brazen pit, it's probably an earth Ganassi, um, and then for the fire pit, it's probably a fire Ganassi. Um, and they'll just be like, "Yes, hello, welcome." And you know, you explain that you've been sent there. Like, yep, yeah, absolutely, we can do that. Um, the rooms are heavily subsidized, but we do do still ask for a very small fee. Uh, it's just one silver piece for the night. Um, just to cover like lodgings and, and bedding and things like that, um, but it's nothing, nothing too much. Uh, if you do struggle to pay for that, we can sort of make arrangements. Um, there might be we can find work for you in the city. Um, we can sort of take an advance payment if that's something you need. Um, just let us know. Uh, do I have any money on me that's not in a chest? A great I do. question. I have nothing. I, I have, have nothing. Oh, I have money. I have ten gold. Okay. So I can pay for our gang. Okay, yeah, you can pay for your gang easily enough. Mm -hmm. um, just mark it off. If you've got ten gold, like that's going to be three silver pieces three for your gang. Silver. So it's ten silver uh, per gold piece. So you're down to nine and seven. Because uh, if that's got... all the money you've got available to you, then that's an important thing for us to check. I've got eighty. If you want. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Still exactly. worth worth keeping a note of because if you want to buy supplies and stuff and you're separated or you can't access the magic chest, then. Uh, you got nothing. Uh, Kay will pay for their room. <laughs> Kay so pays for her room. She's just much? like, 
One silver piece each. So one, so and then so ten gold would go down to oh, no, nine wrong. gold and seven silver. I have one gold on my person. Nine gold, seven silver. Yeah. I gave the rest to Quills. There you go. Perfect. Massive. Uh, Kay, she puts down a silver piece. Forward. It's like there's my yes. room. Good luck. <laughs> and then heads upstairs. It's like I'm not. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is for the yeah. Kay's with those guys. So not oh, the yeah. century yet. Um, How much gold uh, are you I I I don't have any gold on me right now. Any silver, sorry. Oh, well, that's all right. We can make arrangements. Uh, what about yourself, sir? Do you have any gold or...? I left it with my friend who's been assigned to the other place. Oh, I, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, what we can do is for the interim, um, we, can, we can basically set you up on a sort of credit basis uh, for tonight. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll find you work uh, for tomorrow. Um, oh, we'll pay it by tomorrow. Well, make a persuasion check for me. Twenty-one. <laughs> Twenty-one. She kind of looks at you and is like, "Are you? Are you together? Are you with this? This I'm one?" I'm his carer, and I don't think he's, I, he's I, past the age of working. Yes, I'm long retired. All right, and you said that you had your friend has your money, but they're not. They're at a different inn. We've or got split. Like... We weren't a oh, group enough by the. We didn't right. realize. Well, we I, I suppose I can allow it for tonight because we do have this system in place to help people. Um, if you don't, if you can't pay to buy, pay by tomorrow, we'll have to put you to work in the kitchens or something like that just for the for the day to earn earn the wage. But um, but no, yes, all right. Well, as long as you pay by tomorrow morning, if you can get it to me by tomorrow afternoon, we'll say. Then, then we'll we won't worry about it. But I, all right, and, and they'll sort of let you let it slide for now. Um, but you have to make sure you get that payment by tomorrow, or you're going to be uh, asked to put to put to work uh, in order to pay it off. Uh, and then at the other end, yeah, if Kim, uh, sorry, uh, spritz, spritz, that's it. Pays, then it's all fine. The rooms are basic. You literally have like a bed, a single bed, a tress, a chest, like a trunk, um, and a desk and a chair, and that's it. Can I, when we're checking in, can I just casually, you know, slip in, like, you know, oh, full house tonight, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, it can do. Um, the, you guys are standing at the fire pot, so it's a fire ganassi. Uh, it's a man, he's kind of got, like, a big flaming beard, a bald head, but big f- fiery beard kind of thing. Um, dark kind of, like, uh, ashen grey skin, but, like, bright red eyes. Um, and, uh, he looks, he's like, oh, uh, no, no, still got, still got a few rooms. We have, um, we have, we have to try and keep a little bit of availability for the folks coming in from the gate, like yourselves. Um, we've got a couple left. Once we've, uh, once I've got, once those have gone, I'll, I'll message back and they'll, I'll let them know that we've not got any rooms still here, so. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Thank you. That's right. Do we notice, um, any other people? Stay like in the building. Mm, with us. Yeah, there's definitely people staying here. Um, most of them, I think, one of them you would recognise as there was a there was a family that were behind you in the queue, mm-hmm. and they arrived just shortly after you guys. Um, and they're like, "Oh, is this the fire pot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah." And they sort of come in and they speak to the guy, and he's just like, "Yep, yep, yep, sign you up. Yep, no problem." And so they come in and they take one of the rooms, uh, like a more family-sized room. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, you, you spot a few people around there. Other, it, it's all Ganassi. Like, there's no other yeah. travelers here. Um, you don't see any Valkyrian soldiers in this building. Most of them appear to be kind of similar to the story you guys have concocted for yourselves. They're like travelers or people that were out in Aroes and have now come back to the city, but didn't have anywhere to really stay. Okay. Um, and yeah, I mean, that part seems legit. Like, they're, they're all here. A few of them have sort of gathered together in like a common room, like a little sort of like, not quite a bar, but like a little sort of cafe drinking area. There's like maybe a handful of tables. There's like a very simple, basic bar. Um, and they're just sort of gathered around having a drink, maybe some coffees or something like that with each other, uh, just catching up and introducing it themselves to each other and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. just a little idle conversation going on. Alrighty. Nice. For me and Azure. Yes. Um, uh, are we in the same? We're not in the same room, are we? We're in separate. No, no, you're in separate rooms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you've, you, you, you were, but you were registered not as a family, so you have separate rooms. Um, uh, I, 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 I know we've already been too much trouble with not paying. We will get the money as soon as we can. But as he said, he is my carer. Is it possible for him to have a, a, a spare key to my room? Oh, make a persuasion check. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> ah! He's incontinent. <laughs> Also, I am not. Uh, not me. I'm somebody else disguised, <laughs> is how bad it went. Right. <laughs> uh, four. 
You could just like pee yourself right on the spot and just prove that point. Mm, you could. Sorry, I've shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, sir. We're, that's not really our policy. We, I mean, you're not family related, so we don't allow for sharings oh, well, of rooms. Well, is, is there, uh, does anyone else have access to the room in that case, just in case I may call well, out and. Yes, our help. staff do. Yes, our staff can come in. Um, okay. Thank you. That's uh, that's wonderful. Okay. At the very least. No problem. You seem confused. No, 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 no. I'm just in case. I've had accidents before. You come on, you. Not, Let's well, get you up into no, your it's room. It's absolutely fine. Please don't worry about that. We just we can't give them to another guest. It's you, you know keys are. Uh, for I, we understand. It's yes. okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's just. Earth Earth just looks like she's like yeah what, is, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Elder abuse no <laughs> Um, but yeah, like there's really not much else that can really happen with this. Um, you guys have those rooms yeah. uh, for tomorrow, but it does take you some time to go there, drop off your stuff. It's mainly the like getting to, like maybe like speaking, like arranging for the rooms, taking your stuff up, and then basically figuring out like, okay, now you've got to travel back and try and meet up at this other place. And that spends most of the afternoon doing that. Okay. Um, I would like to get my tiny chest out. And okay. I'd like to get a gold piece out. <laughs> So this is you're gonna cast the spell because uh, you have to. You can't access the big chest unless you cast the spell. I think it's. I think I read this before that it's something I can just sort of cast and then it lasts for twenty days. Uh, uh, yeah. I can use an action. Uh, carry on. Let me read this. Okay. <laughs> sure. I mean, I can't carry on because the next thing is you guys doing yeah, a thing together. To so uh, just read it out loud. Fill that dead air by reading out <coughs> the spell. While the chest remains on the ethereal plane, the real one, yeah. uh, you can use an action and touch the replica to recall the chest. It appears in an unoccupied space on the ground within five feet of me, mm -hmm. and then I can send it back using an action, uh, and it okay. lasts um, four ever. After 60 days, there is a cumulative 5% chance per day Spell effect ends. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I can just do it as an action. Yeah. Without I think you have to like cast it like every month or something, but I'm not going to track that. I can't be bothered. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, you touch the chest. You summon the real one up in your room. I'm assuming. Yep. Um, get what gold piece out. I get a couple out. Uh, couple. And then. Uh, How much are you going to get out? Write it down. Two. <laughs> what if we were shopping? Yeah. I'll get three out. Okay. Whoa. Three gold pieces. Whoa. Watch out. Well, he's a professor and an academic. Just so make sure you have a note of it, because, like, render. again, mm. you don't want to be summoning that chest out in public, so... No. Whatever you need, you need to get out now. I've got four gold. Okay. Every Five time we gold. say something, Five. he ups it by one ten. gold. Yeah. Get ten out. I think six is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get three. I'll get three. Okay. I hate you. I mean, I, I, I like he's telling me this. Like, like I'm gonna care how much he gets out. I just all I care about is that he notes it down, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. when it when it fucks him over, I can be like, well, you, you said that you got three good. gold out. That's all I care about. Yeah. I've got four gold. Okay. All right. Four? And then you put the chest away. You sure you want four? Why did you land on that number? How much is our room? Ten silver. One silver. I've got three gold. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's just doing it to fuck with you now. If Aelum's uh, at the same Ill in right now. <laughs> Smack! <laughs> <laughs> it would be Elder Abuse. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you get the money out. Uh, you take put the chest back in the ethereal plane, I'm assuming. Yep. And, yeah, you're good to go. Um, cool. He's right. not an elder. He's three. No, he's three. He's baby. Uh, and then the plan <laughs> is what? Go meet up at Colesmoke Street? Uh, yeah. So that, that was this quarter, right? This quarter yeah. of the day is just mm -hmm. getting into the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, signing ourselves you in. The, you have the evening and then night time left of today. Check out each other's rooms. Oh, yeah. oh good view. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Is that the nice park? view. Over it is there? over there. Yeah. yeah. I can see my car from there. I've nice. got a view for a, of a wall. That's all I can see. It's just a wall. Yeah, there's just a tree across. I'm just really blocking. I went into my bathroom, Lucius, and the roof is slanted in such a way that it's right over the top of my toilet. <laughs> so I have to kind of lean backwards if I want to use it. Is yours like that? No. Oh, weird. Mine's very spacious. Really? Remember Bryony's bathroom window situation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Rhiannon wasn't in the group chat. She didn't yeah. know. You missed a Oh, lot. you missed the whole I thing. Can, I yeah. can imagine. I fell out of my bed. <laughs> We, we had twin out. beds, and the, the hotel was wonky, old and wonky, oh, and mine was on a wonk, and I fell out of the bed. No. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And then Ted didn't believe me that the mattress was wonky, so I made him lie on it, and he fell out immediately. <laughs> it's okay, it's not just, just Ree that is out of this joke. Just wedding. It's anyone watching. <laughs> the hotel that we stayed at for Ree's wedding, the rooms Context. were quite funny. And Bryony had a window in her bathroom, hence why we're talking about windows. And yeah. so she had a window that we could see into. <laughs> we could see. It is genuinely amazing that if I don't say anything, that like the conversation will just keep going. Oh. I, you know, love it. I think funny. we should go around know, and funny. describe each other's bedrooms that we had. Yeah, like, mine was pretty standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, Tom? I had a corpse in my cupboard. Oh, okay. Oh, nice, is it the nice. Friar? Was it a ghost? Lord Friar. This okay. Now it's seriously in joke. Period. Period where we should yeah. stop. Right. Devil baby. So, um, <laughs> you guys meet up in sort of, yeah, I think it'll be sort of around 6 p.m., 7 p.m. So it's evening, so the sun has set. Um, and when the sun goes down, you all over uh, Vortensar, the city comes alive with like magical light. Um, all of those uh, crystal screens of the Vortens of the Valkyrian Empire, sorry, they are so much more visible at nighttime. Um, and you can see Coal Smoke Street uh, has them lining. Coal Stroke Smeek, it, Coal Stroke Street. <laughs> You're Coal having a stroke. Smeek, Smeek. You're Coal having Smeek. a stroke. Uh, Smeek's back. Ch- 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 like, Smeek, 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 back. Coal Smoke Street. He's a hero in Vortensar. Is a very closed no, in, statue in the town narrow square. street with lots of little tiny restaurants and buildings and eateries. And some of them are like stalls outside. But along the sides of the buildings, you have these beautiful kind of like painted art artworks on the sides of buildings that have been illuminated with like minor illusions like paints and things like that so kind of almost creating like neon signs a little bit but you also have these giant crystalline illusory screens that are playing these like music videos not just of Shansara there are Ganassi musicians as well um you see like the recruitment ads for like join the Valkyrian Empire today and all this kind of stuff um kind of like running on loops right that they play through um but quite you know it means that the streets are filled with music um there is also like uh you can see that they've probably quite a recent thing since the Valkyrian Empire joined there are like dramas like, and they show, like, clips of, like, these drama shows Amazing. where it's, like, a serialized, like, <laughs> uh, tale of, like, lovers on Gideon Prime. And it's, it's, like, a Valkyrian Empire thing that has been brought into the city. Um, and it, and then you, one of them is, like, an advert. is like, coming soon, the first Vortensar drama, uh, the V-drama, uh, and it's of a Ganassi kind of, like, you know, family and like they're like living in the city and like you know dealing with like these new neighbors that are all Valkyrian Empire people yeah. that come in and stuff oh, and it's kind weird, of like a little bit of a sitcom and a little bit of a romance drama. Is it kind of like we're talking like you know Hong Kong drama level yes. like you know yes. where it's kind of cheap sets yeah. and really over the top. Yeah like, kind of like know. like Hong Kong drama and yeah. then Korean drama kind yeah, 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 of merged yeah. together. Bit of telenovela, like really the Latino top. telenovela yeah. like yeah. <gasps> yeah. And like some of it's like real life and then some of it's more fantastical. Like yeah. a lot of the Valkyrie and Empire stuff, one of these shows that you see advertised is like the legendary Knight of Gideon kind of thing, like, you know, on their epic quest it's and Max. stuff. Yeah. It's Max when he it's... was young. <gasps> he was an actor! <laughs> That's why he doesn't talk about it! Oh. There's part of me that wants to say yes. <laughs> I think that would be discrediting Max's character. It would be. <laughs> uh, it's his brother. It's his twin brother. I think that, like, but I think that, like, it's that idea, Evil like, of brother. like, um, and to kind of lean in because obviously with Kim stuff, like, there's elements of like the kind of like the um, what do they call it? Like the kind of the uh, Wuxia kind of like the Wuxia, white, yeah, yeah, Wuxia, yeah, yeah. Like the fantasy, Fu, yeah, like, yeah. So it's very over the top uh, and dramatic. Cool. Um, but it's more sci-fi, right? Yeah. Like, it's kind of got the Magitech kind of element to it. Um, and yeah, like these screens just project it, and people will just they gather in these courtyards and they'll watch it, and it, it's a communal thing. It's not like a you watch it at home. Like mm. nobody has these like massive magical screens at home. Mm. So they gather in these courtyards and they watch like these public ones together. Um, and they watch all the music videos and they sing sing along and they sing songs together. Um, but the street itself, imagine that kind of classic, almost kind of yeah, like Hong Kong, full of neon like magical paintings on the sides of signs and advertisements. But it's steam rising off mm. like the cooking pots like and the big and, yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. like that. And people, like, calling and out yeah, and, like yeah. din of music and life and stuff like that all mixed together. I imagine as well, like, you know, like in China, when I lived in China, they have like, and Malaysia actually, like kind of grass squares where people just do Tai Chi in the evening or even just like 
waltzing and ballroom dancing. I think that like that's that. like going to be more maybe like in the, the residential air, yeah. areas. Yeah, it's like, yeah. like the fire. This is the, the fire district is very packed in because you've got mm. all these big industrial warehouses around. So all of these kind of streets, like the residential stuff, the the areas where you're staying in the inn, it's much more packed in, mm. and it's got these bright lights. And you don't think that there's as many of these like you know magic neon signs in the other mm, districts. Yeah, like yeah. this is very much the fire district's kind of vibe. It's really um, cool. Yeah, nightlife. very kind of smoky nightlife town mm. kind of thing. Sentry's like amazed by the screens, by the like the colours and the lights. She just she's like, oh my, this is incredible. I think Nova's just buzzing and going around and like you know very hard, like doing that rapid fire, like showing everybody like, oh my gosh, and you got to try this food, and uh, we have this thing here called this, and you know, and just like, <laughs> just, yeah. Sentry's just listening to us. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah. That sounds great. Oh my god, and these dramas was, on you. I've never seen these dramas though before. I need to catch up. I need to catch up. I'm so far behind in my season. Well, well, this would this would be a new thing. No, oh, all the been, yeah, this yeah. is all since the Valkyrie. Empire came in, so all the screens oh, all and stuff okay. like that. The the painted like magical signs were there, yeah. but that was like a, a thing that Gordon, the... so Ganassi would do to like yeah. show off their business, right? Like, mm. oh, I've got a magic sign kind of thing. Yeah. The crystal screens, the dramas, that's all Valkyrian okay. Empire that's been coming in the last like few months, basically. I think if anything, then Nova probably wouldn't even comment on them yet because she's so caught up in being home, being home and mm. seeing mm. Ganassi everywhere mm. and like you know just smelling the food and. Feeling the nightlife that yeah she'd be proudly. That's kind of actually off. you've reminded me of something. So for Quill and his massive, massive. perception, thank you. There's two things, and I think Ayla would also pick on this because you've got a pretty high passive perception as do well. Do I? Don't? I think you do. Let me check. Check Let's because check I think you have a decent one. Oh, I do. Seventeen. Yeah. When did that happen? happen? Um, anybody with a sort of seventeen or higher, Quill, you're well, going to get a bit more information than this. Um, genuinely didn't know I had that high. It's the, there's a couple of things. It's very loud, like the screens blaring this like magically projected sound, the din of conversation of people, the the, the cooking sounds. It's very loud. The smells are unlike anything any of the rest of you have ever encountered. Um, especially here, it smells hot. It smells spicy. It smells rich. Um, and and very fragrant spices and and in like kind of incensey kind of smell Punch. mingle in with the scent of people like sweat um, and and embers and ash and it all kind of mingles together creates very pungent unmissable scent um, and you you have a feeling that the reason that the the cooking is like done with so many spices and there's so much incense here is to mask this ashy kind of industrial sweaty smell um, but it kind of just min mingles together min minges together I almost said that um, yeah, I don't know. it was like mingle and merges and <laughs> minges We've dyslexia all been baby it happens we've all been there um, so yeah like very pungent smell. In terms of sight, it's a little bit hard because it's dark and all of these lights, it actually makes it very hard. You actually have disadvantage on perception checks in this area, like for sight-based, because it's so difficult to see with all these blazing lights and That's blaring me. lights and things. Um, and same with the sounds and smells. In fact, I'm gonna say it's disadvantage on perception checks in general, because yeah. it's so loud, it's so you know mm. smelly, and it's, it's visually obscuring. Despite that, Quill, <laughs> you will notice that there are guard patrols. Okay. And this doesn't just look like normal, like there are guards around. You actually see a group of Ganassi kind of like citizen militia, along with Valkyrian troops, going store to store asking questions. Um, they're, they're investigating this area. And you don't hear what, um, but you see them and you can tell by their movements and their body language that this is kind of like they're, they're investigating something. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, are we near... So this is on Coal Smoke Street, yeah. right? And it's, it's a long ass street. It's like a long kind of winding labyrinthian maze of these little like alleyways and restaurants and, and food markets and plazas. It's like a, it's more of like a, a, a zone almost. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, if it is super loud, I guess it's not too hard for us to whisper amongst each other. No, yeah, you guys yeah. can definitely talk amongst each other and like, unless somebody's next to you, they probably won't either be able to pick up on it or won't hear enough to be able to discern that it's anything suspicious. Yeah, um, I, I just noticed uh, some some guard patrols. Uh, I, I think investigating the stores and restaurants around this area. They're probably trying to find, well, the place that we're going to, um, uprooting any background activities. I suppose. Mm. On that, we should probably enter this place 
independently mm. to each other so that we're not drawing attention to this yeah. luxurious place that simply everyone has to go to. Um, right. So, shall I, shall I go in first? Yes, if you want. Make contact with. Do you remember what to ask for? Yes. I've got it written on me. I will also say you you don't know where this place is yet. You you this is a we big need to look for it's us. a big street and big place. Yeah, you are gonna look have to you, you're gonna have to find it here. Look okay. for the sign of the spicy rabbit. We need to order the Bantau mix, Sky Elf style. Yeah. Okay. That means they take the chili out. So I guess where we are, no, I mean lights all over the place. Can I have a look for this? You can. So uh, there's going to be a couple of things here. So the, the first question I'm going to ask is, how are you looking for this place? Like, what what is Quill looking for specifically that is going to be, like, you know, what's his mind, what's his thought process here? Uh, well, we're looking for a... I mean, if there's signs for all of these... Every, like, every restaurant, every stand has some sort of sign of some sort of manner. Yeah, so I'll be looking for that that spicy rabbit or a rabbit of some kind. Okay. Yes. That looks a little spicy. Okay. Um, so you begin making your way down. So while Quill's doing that, what are the rest of you doing? So just so it doesn't just become cool, rolls a perception check and it's going to be really high and then that's it. Ayla's just overwhelmed by all the stuff that's happening. So yeah. Too many... People, too many things. This is probably, out of everybody, Ayla is probably having the worst time with this. Like, Take me to a forest somewhere. This is just a lot happening. It's really garish. I, do, I don't know how you're doing it. It's just too much. Nova's just eating something, just already. That just, does look good. Mark, you look, silver piece. You looked away for a minute and she went and got like a bun. Sounds from, like him. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and that's true for any of you. Like, like, the, the, like, if any of you want anything to eat, like, this place has got like everything and anything. Mm. Like, you can try a million things here. And it's a silver piece, pretty much. Most, most, like, pieces of food are like because it's all like street food. Like, it's mainly like little pockets of things, or like you get like a little sort of like a clay plate, or like a little you know cheaply made wooden slab with stuff on it. Or like a little, you know, container of something. Um, and it's all different things, right? It's, you know... Meat yeah. bun. Yeah, sure. Just chewing on a meat bun. Tell you bow. Huh? Where you far? That looks amazing. Mmm! This is soft, white, yeah, and it's uh, nah, real mm. delicacy. Mmm. Mm. Mm. looks so pretty Sorry. and soft. It's mm. like a mixture of things that like you see people with, like, almost like, you know, chicken legs, like, almost like a whole ass, like, big chicken drumstick, like, smothered in, like, whole sauces ass. and stuff. <gasps> Where can I get uh, one of those? Chicken legs. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get a chicken leg. Mm. Yeah, you see, like they've got like like they've got like hanging sort of like you know chickens and ducks mm. and stuff, and they like cut them off and grill mm. them up. You want it with this sauce as well? Have this the sauce. Give, give them this sauce. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Silver piece. Silver piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay I'll, I'll pay. I'll they, pay. They, Are you sure? Yeah, my treat. Oh, thank you. They freshly grill it. They smother it in some sort of sauce. You don't know what century. <sighs> Um, you can eat, you just don't have to, right? Yeah, and it's like, the, like her century's not very good with like flavour, so like anything that's quite plain, she can't really taste, but she likes really strong. Okay, like, and heavy, is this sweet, like the mouth? Because like, we've never seen the mouth yeah. open. Is it like, it's like, yeah. <laughs> oh. it's like oh, God. And then just, <laughs> gung, 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 yeah. gung, gung, and then yeah, chomps it down. <laughs> um, oh my what? God. Would century like eat the bone as well? Probably, yeah. yeah just like oh the whole God. thing yeah. goes in. How the better that thing is that With Rhiannon's describing this whilst she's a demon baby. Demon baby. Devil baby. But Devil also, baby. she is disguised. She's disguised, so she pulls the mask down, and like the, the illusion will like move with her yeah. face, kind of thing, but it doesn't look right. Like it's almost like this craggy, like scarred mouth. Like the Joker just splits way <laughs> too high and like hinges oh. open and just. <laughs> and there's Terrifying. no teeth. It just looks like rock on the inside and just chomp, 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 chomp. Because um, Kay didn't know that you could eat, so the the mouth hasn't been mm. illusioned to look like that, right? Mm. So it's just Sentry's like gaping whole mouth. Uh, um, so cute. Sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, can you make for me, Sentry, a sleight of hand oh, check? Oh, no. Of course. Like Lucius is like woozy seeing mm -hmm. this. 13? 13, okay. Um, you chomp down, and in terms of strong flavors, yeah, this is a very strong, I'm assuming that Nova would have been like spiciest, spiciest sauce. Um, very, very strong, fiery, almost sweet in some mm. points, with a kind of citrusy aftertaste, um, but very, very, very strong. Um, but delicious and like you know very wholesome. You crunch that bone, suck on the bone juice, bone marrow. Yep, 
delicious. It's it's kind of and then afterwards, after you have that initial hit of like that spice and that citrus, there's this um the kind of the umami that kind of like really oh. like like very satisfying kind of flavour. Mm. Uh, and you're actually gonna gain do yeah. do because if there are consequences, there must also be benefits. You'll gain 13 temporary hit points. Oh, cool. Um, you can't benefit from eating a special meal again for another 24 hours, but this one gives you some temporary hit points. Well, that means oh, chowing nice. down on everything in sight. Yeah, well, well, so, yeah, if you had like a meat bun, um, That's too far, yeah. I would say. Do, 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 do. I mean, the easiest um, one is plus to five full. Plus five full. <laughs> I would say. No you can have. For the next hour, you have advantage on constitution, Ooh. ability checks, and saving throws. Because it's like a very hearty meal. It's, you know, fills you up and you feel... Oh, it's not just that. Well, I'm eating everything. I'm yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. We'll say that if you're sort of consuming a bunch of stuff, just mark off like a few more silver for like different yeah, dishes yeah. and things we'll that you do. have. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay, so Sentry's like eating some food. Nova's eating some food. Anything for Lucius? Ayla's kind of just like, ah, too much. Overwhelm. Uh, Lucius is going to ask Quill. AKA Wisp for how advice on how to find this sign. Oh, uh, well, I, there's, there's signs lit up above us. There's signs all by the sides of the street. It, I, I, I mean, I don't know what a spicy rabbit might look like, but um, I guess anything with long ears. Spritz. No? Yeah. In terms. I want to hurt you so bad right now. And that's sorry, Trot. That's trot. <laughs> no, sorry, Trot. I did it, and then I remembered. Uh, Imagine I'm chewing while you are. Oh, I am. Um, <laughs> in terms of the location and the name of this location that what? we're looking for, huh? would you say that's like an established restaurant, or is it going to be more of a vendor stall? What do you think? Have you heard of anything like this before? I'm not, I'm not giving you nothing on this I, one. It sounds more like a hawker store to me, but to be honest, you know, the turnover here is so fast, you know. Um, people change their names often and, like, you know, decide to, I'm going to do another dish, so I'm going to change the name of my stool. Or they move their stool. It's very confusing. So it could be anywhere. Mm. All right. You have to use those old eyes of yours. I'm, I'm choo, choo. trying as best I can, but right. so you're basically at this point, you're kind of all relying on Quill's eyesight to try and Burgeoning find this eyesight. this place. Yeah, I'm gonna try and look as well. Okay, so you're gonna help. You want to help? Yeah. All right. Uh, if he's looking on the left, I'm looking on the right. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll say that um, that's taking the help yeah. action. Through time itself. I was just gonna say, like, while I'm chomping around, <laughs> like, you know, casually. Um, you are eating stuff, so it's limited how much you can do alongside this. But sure. I was just gonna ask, like, vendors, like, oh, have you? I, I heard that the spicy okay. rabbit's a good place to go and eat. Like, where's okay. that? That, yeah. All right. Well, what we'll do because you're kind of like focused on eating while these guys are looking. That'll be like the next step, yeah, like, yeah. kind of thing. Um, but yeah, we'll follow on from that. Uh, did you have anything, Katie? I saw you were about like, ah, and then no. Okay. Um, in that case, so because Lucius is helping Quill. Quill, you would have made a perception check with disadvantage because of the light and noise and din. Advantage from uh, the help action will cancel it out, so it's just going to be a straight perception roll. But this is going to take a significant amount of time because it's just Quill and Lucius really looking around while the rest of you guys do other stuff. Yeah, it's a long um, road. So it's just going to take a bit more time. Long road and tons and tons of different places. It's like a whole quadrant. Boom. 30. Oh, 30 total. oh my god. Yep. So oh, with a plus eighteen, you scour the place and you have to kind of walk back and forward and like go down the street, go down a few side streets. You clock a number of potential places. Sure. Right. You find one place that has the sign of what appears to be like a big soup pot, and it has like happy little bunnies like playing in it, like they're in a swimming pool kind of thing. And it's like <laughs> it's like rabbit hot pot basically, but it's like they're like having a lovely time with all their veggies, like playing with them like it's a pool, but they're being cooked to life. Um, <laughs> Um, and like looking at it, it's all red and fiery. That could be a sign of a spicy rabbit. Mm -hmm. um, you also see a kind of more vendory, like a market stand with hung up kind of like skin hairs with like smothered in like like spicy sauces and dry rubs and things like that being hung up outside in its window display. That could be the sign of a spicy rabbit. And that's uh, a spicy rabbit. That's a spicy rabbit. Uh, you find a couple other places yeah. that just have like names like, you know, Red Hot Rabbit or, uh, you know, uh, Hot Best Rabbit. Yeah, Hot, <laughs> Hot, Hot, Hot 
hot lop hair and things like that. Like these, like restaurants have these names. And then I think the last one that you see is actually a kind of one of these animated neon signs mm. on like the side of a smaller looking restaurant. Um, but it's actually uh, like a kind of like burlesque borough folk woman with like the kind of like the rabbit ears and she's kind of got like the big leg and she's like, da -da, and it kind of like moves and like animates slightly. Like she's kind of on like a little pole and she's dancing. That's but spicy. it's, it's, a but, yeah, it's, yeah, it's that, that could be a spicy rabbit. I thought you were going to um, say it was like a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat, but it's a cauldron. It's a cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's one of the other ones. Maybe that's one of the other ones I said. But there's these five potential options, and uh, yeah, and like the animated one has got like flowers and things. But it's, yeah, it's a restaurant. It's not like anything else. It's just like a kind of eye-catching sign of like, um, you know, and it's it's probably called again like yeah like the, the hot leg hair or something like that. I'm a little worried, Wisp. Yes. We're going to be eating a lot of Bantao Sky Elf style tonight. I I don't imagine that's a recipe that actually exists. Are you sure? Well, I, I I don't know, but it, that's meant to be the code word, right? If someone oh, orders been... a Bantau style rabbit, Sky Elf style, they'll be in, inducted into a. Would no one know group. if if Bantau Bantau mix is a thing or not a thing? Bantau mixes is you never heard of Sky Elf style. Yeah, like, yeah. that's like you ne nobody that's would, the nobody bit would I have do. ever because it's not like Sky Elves would rarely come to Vaughan. Yeah, like, it's yeah. not a very common thing. They snubbed us. But ba Bantau mix is like a, yeah, it's kind of like a kind of spicy uh, like veg veg and sort of um, uh, stir fry kind of dish. Yeah. We need to pick one of these places. Which do you think is most like a spicy rabbit? Well, I mean. The second one, uh, I mean, they are literally being drenched in spice. But they're it is very good, very tasty. Not necessarily rabbits, they were hair. Really tasty. I'm imagining it's more of an actual building than a stall. Though. Yeah, two of them are stalls, three head, of them are buildings. In my head, building seems more likely. More likely right. to have secret areas in it, you know? Let's start with the buildings then. So we've got the strange sign that moves somehow. Uh, magic, magic, I assume. Um, of the the borough folk lady, that seems like a good potential. Yeah, I think the buildings would be that one, uh, the one with the like the hot pot with the bunnies in like the pool of soup. Having fun. Um, in the in the pool of soup. Um, and then the other one, like the the red hot Stall. red hot rabbit or whatever it was called. I don't know, I made it up. Um, but like it's uh you know another one of these kind of like it's a it's a full building, but uh, it doesn't have an animated sign. I'm good. The other two do. You guys look preoccupied. Oh, wait, you already are. Was, She's at I another stall. To, yeah, I'm on, I'm on another <laughs> store eating some kebabs. Like uh, Saturday. Can I uh, notice Sentry's terrible mouth thing and go, Probably ah, ah, just maybe don't let anyone on the street see that because it looks real weird. Does it look Yeah, the illusion's not, it's not carrying over, <gasps> my dude. No. <gasps> no. My dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to. Cover, cover. If you're chewing, it's so covered. good though. I can't. Yes, but just put it under, under the mist. Okay, it's it's this weird. This is the thing that rats us out. Essentially, eating. <laughs> <laughs> Can't carry on. Don't uh, look at me. As you guys are making your way, because this has taken a fair bit of time, and like you've been sort of like debating over it, you see this patrol of guards is making your way. Is is a few feet away from you at this point, um, and they're stopping and they turn around to one of these stalls. Um, maybe the one with the sort of like the skinned rabbits outside covered in like the sauce and the dust. Um, and they're actually, they're, you lean in and for the first time you kind of overhear snippets of like, have you seen, we're looking for this person, what do you know about, are you kind of catching like glimpses of this conversation? And then they hold up um, one of these like smaller crystal slates, it looks Valkyrian made, one of the Valkyrian soldiers holds it up um, and Quill, uh, you would see very briefly it flashes up on it because it's angled away from you, so you only see it as he kind of pulls it out. Sure. Um, it's actually a picture of Norfear. Um, it's like a, a stylized mm. portrait of Norfear, and they show it, and they're like having like that. You know, I'm and you kind of like see them having this mimed conversation, or like as this loud and you, Shensara's song begins blaring through the street, um, and so you're like you can't quite hear in what they're saying now. Could I so I'm quite far away, you said? Or no, okay. these guys are, I would say, within 30 feet. 40, the, 30, 40 feet. The person they're talking to, Yeah. could I make almost like an insight check to see almost their initial reactions to this picture? Um, uh, you, Yes, you absolutely can. If you want to do it from where you are, 
it's going to be disadvantaged in a high DC because you're at a distance. Mm -hmm. Like, even if it's 30, 40 feet, it's quite hard to, like, see them at the angle. If you get closer, then it will be a lower DC, no disadvantage, but you'll be closer. Uh, I think just where I am. Okay. I'll, I'll right. take take the hit. I disadvantage think. and high DC. Uh, okay. Okay. And... Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, 14. 14. Okay. From this distance, not enough to... It's the angle, you can't quite see their facial expression clearly enough. People are crossing in front of us. Yeah, Wait, people are crossing in front of you. It's no, that's insight. insight. Oh, insight, insight check. sorry. Um, I would say that if you get closer, then yes, but you would you you would be noticed by the the yeah. guards and the troops that I you were, you were coming closer. You, yeah. I mean that you, you know, there's people walking past them and they're not like, who are you? Blah blah blah. Like there are people passing behind them because this is a busy street. But it's just that yeah, they would be like, oh, there's this old man who's come closer to us. Yeah, I, I think it was it, it, the the moment of them first seeing the picture has already gone, and mm -hmm. it was just a way to see. Yeah. Do they it, recognize? They it? Are they recognize actually the them? people? Right. It would have just saved us a bit of time. Don't that's know. fine. Yeah. Um, uh, the guards over there, uh, Lucius, you should probably know this. Uh, they hmm? are showing pictures of Norfia to, to. Who's Lucius? Sorry, um, uh, Azure. Azure. Thank you, Wisp. Azure. They're showing pictures of Norfair. Right next to the security guards. You no, say. no, 30 feet away. Right. Approximately. Oh, they, they've got, they a had got a picture of her? They would have had massive disadvantage. It's loud as fuck here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> pictures of uh, Nanny Norfair. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we best get a move on then. Yes, uh, but uh, I mean. I'm gonna try this one. Uh, Looks you... like they're just about to finish up at this stall that they're with, and you get the impression that they've clocked the same five locations you have. And this is at least one. You don't know how many others they visited, but I'm going into the one with um... the borough folk. Okay. You guys. Yeah, which ones are to that to our side of where they've been? Because if they are coming towards us, they you don't know. Like they're coming towards you now, but they've been here. You don't know how right. long they've been here. So what I'm going to say is that you know that they've they they've basically clocked the same five places. They've been to at least one, but you don't know how many others they've been to. You guys can. If you guys go to them, like you can interact with them first, like you're currently still ahead of them, but you just need to tell me which ones and I'm keeping track of it. So you don't need to worry about like which side who's what on and things like that. Like, Would I have gotten anything out of like asking whatever vendor, like, you know, oh, have you heard of the spicy rabbit? I think that they would point to the exact same five places. They'd oh, basically really? be like, yeah, like these are the five, like, yeah, spicy rabbit. Yeah, these yeah. these places either do it or they're like, yeah, that place is called the, the hot rabbit or whatever and stuff like that. So. Any, any of them known for the Bantam mix? Like I heard it's really good. Uh, make a... Do, 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 do. Mm, it's not really deception. I guess persuasion check. Kind of gather. I wish there used to be a skill called gather information. Uh, oh. Nine plus five. Nine plus five. Fourteen. Fourteen. Kind of like this guy, he's like an older water Ganassi. He's like, oh, uh, Bantel mix. I mean, pre it's a pretty popular dish. A lot of places here do it. Uh, I can't say I know any of those ones specialize in it probably not that one he points at the one with the the hairs that they were selling like uh, kind of like sliced yeah. rabbit it's like not that one but most of the restaurants do it and that stand does it but yeah so like the other four but he he marks that mm. one that the the guards are currently at he's like not that one but not the other one. four maybe okay. um but yeah okay. i'll share that with the group like mm -hmm. oh he reckons not that not the not that one and i'll point at the stall um, okay 14 no it's a 14 okay yeah, yeah that's it that feels fairly, yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, so Lu uh, so Lucius, because I'm the DM, I can say the names that I remember. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, you could say Chris. Chris. Oh, no. Chris. Oh. Chris. Oh. Trotty. You don't have to say any of those. Trottinus. <laughs> okay, yeah. Baby boy. <laughs> uh, Rainbow man. Um, yes. You head he up to, that. you said you want to go up to the, the one with the kind of sexy bar folk lady, right? Of course he does. Uh, yeah, you approach. There's a fire ganassi woman behind. Uh, actually, it's a fire air ganassi mix lady. Um, so her hair is like very bright and almost stands straight up. Um, kind of like this big kind of column of like, like almost like a candle kind of like whipping around her head. Um, and you can see she's wearing like an apron, loose shirt, rolled up sleeves. 
Um, and it's it's a restaurant, but it has like the kitchen has like a, a window for like takeaway stuff, and the kitchen kind of connects to that, so she can serve either people inside or people who come up to the window. Um, and uh, she kind of goes like, ah, hi there, and she kind of like calls out like, hello, welcome, what can I get you? Hi, I'm looking for the Bantel, uh, Sky Elf style. Bantel mix? When you say Sky Elf style. She kind of like goes, oh, Sky Elf style, don't get that very often. Um, and she get, begins pulling things on and she looks at you and then she does this. Uh. <laughs> Great. I'm going in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, she's like, yeah, I'll get a table and I'll get that sorted for you. And then she'll call out and she'll say, uh, she'll say, uh, Fuego. Uh, get this, get this fella a table in the back. Oh, shit, I'm um, gonna make myself Fuego. That's a great question. That's a great, yeah. Fuego. Uh, and I turn around and say, there's a couple of ruffians that uh, seem to have an eye for the prize. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what does that she, like, mean? She like looks at you and is like, yeah, like you, you don't think that the message has quite got across, but she's like, well. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, just step inside. Don't worry about that. Like, just just come inside, and uh, we'll get you get you set up at that table. Get yes. you that uh, that Bantal Sky Elf style. That's what I would like. Mm -hmm. All right. So you guys watch. Uh, can you all make perception checks for me, please? Um, is this with disadvantage again? Yes, all with disadvantage. Yeah. This is the oh, I got one on that one. <laughs> uh, I got a sixteen and a seven, so six for me. <coughs> May I just say that our new dice are amazing. Fourteen. Six. Nat one. Nat one. Six. Uh, Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Um, Sentry and Nova, you watch Lucius have this interaction, but you don't hear the conversation. Like you, you you're like watching it, you're trying to figure out. You see him go inside but you don't really hear the conversation on what's happening. You see he has like some whispered conversation and sort of awkwardly looks around and then heads inside. Um, oh, Ayla okay. and Quill, you both pick up enough that like, yeah, okay, Lucius gave the code phrase and she was like, yep, yeah, head on inside kind of thing. And he tried to like give some sort of subtle message and didn't seem to, <laughs> you know, you're, not, you're, not sure, you're not sure if she picked up on it or not, but you don't know. Um, yeah. You do notice the other thing is the guards move to the one with the the bunny pot, like the the having pool of the hot pot. Uh, they're currently at that restaurant talking to them. Um, there's two two more others left after that. The the one the one that Lucy's just gone into and an, another one. We should probably wait until the guards check out this place before we're all in there together. Otherwise, they'll get a good look at us all together in this suspicious place. Is that a terrible idea? Well. I don't think Lucius got the message across very well, so... Well, he's in there. Yeah, and... That is the place, they, I'm just yeah. saying. Do we all go now? I think we s just quietly, one at a time, go. Okay. Yeah? But I'm just wary of if the guards are definitely going to this place, and we're all at this place, that might be a bit weird. Yeah, but if we don't get in there, it's... Go on, Sentry. We should probably make sure that they don't hear us saying... The words, if they're too close by and we say, well, yeah. they hear us. Mm, but I don't know where they're going to go next. Well, I'm happy to wait around for a bit if you guys want to go in. All right, while you guys are waiting there, or while Quill is waiting at least, uh, Lucius, uh, you go inside and a young um, fire and uh, air Ganassi looks like the son of the woman who was cooking outside. Uh, is like, hey, welcome, man. And he kind of like slaps your hand, like, <laughs> gives you, like a like, you know, yep. like shakes your hand kind of thing. Hello. He's like, yeah, uh, Sky I'll sell, right? Yes, please. Yeah, come this way. I've got a table, a special table at the back for you. Uh, you called ahead, right? You, you sent word that you, you wanted a special table for the night? Yes, right. That's right, yep. Yeah. And he's like, yep, yeah, come with me. And like, the, and he just acts super casually. None of the locals seem to really pick on it. You can see there's a few people eating inside, just enjoying different meals and stuff. There's uh, a table for five, right? Table for five? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And he kind of like looks at you. Uh, can you make an insight check for me, please? Ooh, I got an 18 plus one, 19. 19. Uh, that, you, that just, he, you've thrown him off. Like, he was expecting, because you gave the password, and he's like, okay, this guy's given the special code phrase. He's like, oh, yeah, party of five. And he's, like, looking, he's, like, looking at his mom, and he's, he's like, like making, like, a face at her, like, oh, I it's don't okay. know now. They're, they're probably trickling. 
Okay. Okay, okay, sure, 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 sure. Just come with, come with me, man. Um, and he kind of like looks you up and down. I he's he's got this so like young, hungry. kind of like very punky, kind of like got kind of like the shaved head side, big spiky kind of quiff. Um, if you've watched the new Cyberpunk Edge Runners anime, he's kind of got the main characters look. David Martinez, kind of this big spiky kind of column of hair, wears like this big loose kind of like puffy jacket, um, but bare chested underneath it. And he's just kind of like yo, kind of like very hip and cool. Um, and he's like yeah, yeah, fo follow me, man. Um, and he kind of Lead leads you. He leads you out the back. Uh, he takes you uh, downstairs into like a basement. There's seating and stuff down there. Looks like maybe there's some sort of room for like singing or performances as well, like a karaoke room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he takes you and so he's like, yeah. And then he looks around. It's it's empty down here. Um, and he looks at you one more time. Can you make a persuasion check for me, please? Certainly can. Fourteen plus. Persuasion of nine, so that's yep. 23. 23. You see, like, he's like, yeah, yeah, and he kind of turns to let you pass, like, you know, after you, man, like, go down here. Um, and he puts his hand on something, like, at his waistband, basically. Um, and But as you kind of, like, he kind of, like, looks, he's, he's just like, so you're, um, you're a friend of, uh, friend of the other guys? Yes. He's like, okay. There's no problem here, is there? I don't know, is there a problem here, man? I just want the Bantau Skyhoff style. Ah, just, you know, it's kind of a rare, rare dish. Not a lot of people ask for it, and uh, kind of regular customers, you know what I mean? Like, people that ask for it, and you don't, you're not a regular customer, do you know what I mean? I have a very specific need. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah, I bet, I bet. And he, he, he doesn't take his hand off, like, you know, where he's got it. It's under, like, his jacket. He's kind of, like, resting, like, he's resting his hand on his hip, mm -hmm. but you can see he's definitely, like, holding something. Um, and he's just like, yeah, well, you know, it's just... Uh, just down here, uh, I've got a special table for you. Um, just down here, but no problem. Right down there? Yeah. He, he gestures to like a little corridor. It's a dead end, um, but when you get down there, he's kind of between you and where you've come in, but he like leans over and he like bangs on the side of the wall and then the end of the corridor, you see the whole wall shifts, like like gets dragged to the side um, and it seems to lead in like to like a little underground tunnel. Um, I point and uh, look back like, wow. Cool, right? <laughs> so, uh, He's like, just just watch yourself, man. Uh, like you're, you, we don't know you. You you know you clearly know who we are, but we don't know you. So just watch yourself. I point at my nose, yeah, and point at this guy. Yeah, he's just like, what? You, you wait, something smells. <laughs> right. Okay. Cool, man. Yeah. I back, well, uh, back into the car. He just calls out. He's just like, yeah, like, it's okay. It's okay, Goliath. Let him through. Um, and you see that, like, as you step through. Waiting behind this door with this huge iron club is this hulking, like quite like large, like obese kind of like barrel chested earth ganassi, bald head but studded with like gemstones, and he's just like looking down and he's <laughs> ready to bash your head in. Holy uh, siesta! <laughs> he's just like, Fuegos is your friend. Go on then. Yes, yes, One good friend. friend. Yep. Off you go. Right on through. <laughs> yeah. I scurry. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. And he, he see that he raises his hands up and the door moves on its, like this this corridor like rejoins, like it reseals. Um, and then he just kind of stands there and he leans up against it, uh, crossing his arms, like resting this giant club on the ground. Um, the rest of them are gonna have to get past that guy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Lucius is now in. What about the rest of you? This takes like a few minutes. Uh, so you guys have been waiting for a few little bits outside. Do you, are you waiting for the guards or is one of you gonna go up next or before they get there? I mean, yeah. It's like it they're wrapping up with who they're talking to at the minute. I was gonna head in. Okay, all right. So yeah, you move up to the, uh, up to the, you enter the restaurant. Are you gonna go up to the counter? Okay. Yeah. And she's like, "Hey, welcome. Uh, how can I help hey. you?" Just looking for some for some Bantao sky off stuff. She kind of looks at you. Now a little bit sort of like, "Okay, a guy just came by here and asked for this." And uh, I think you... um, my friend has already arrived who yeah. I was having dinner with. Yeah. Okay, your friend, right? Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, can you make a persuasion check for me, please? It's a, it's a low DC. It's a low DC because you're only I mean, the, you're it's the a next two. One. Okay. So oh, it's, okay, a two. Uh, she's like, yeah, sure. Just give me a second, will you? Um, fuego, and she kind of calls over the sun. She has a whispered conversation that you don't hear. Um, and he's like, oh, cool, yeah, another one for the table downstairs, right, Ma? Yeah, yeah. Oh, she must be with the other guy. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take her down. Uh, and he's like, hey, nice to meet you. Come on, come on, come down with me. Your friend's, uh, your friend's waiting for you. Nice. 
nice. I think there there are there are a few more uh, still to arrive, probably. But yeah, yeah, he said something about that, like uh, trickling in. Yeah, um, you see, because they're they're just running a bit late. Yeah, no, no worries. Come on, come come with me. Uh, come with me, pretty lady. Uh, and he'll kind of like gesture, like just down here, and he, he points down the stairs to this like lower area. Um, mm-hmm. But he says, "After you, ladies first, please." Sure, I'll go downstairs. Yeah, you go downstairs, he kind of follows behind you, uh, and he's just like, oh, when you get down there, there's like a little uh, like performance room on the side. There's a little corridor just after that, if you just turn uh, turn right uh, just after that, and there's the tables down there. Um, and as you kind of do that, do you do, you do what he says? I guess. I don't, I don't have any reason yeah. not to. Well, when you do, you get to that same uh, dead-end door, but now, and you kind of hear this, like, Ayla can't be surprised you got danger sense. Uh, you feel him, like, something happens. And when you turn around, he's pointing a Valkyrian gun, basically. A Valkyrian, like, um, a Magitek gun. And he's like, now listen, your friend said that more of you were trickling in, but you didn't really convince Mar up there. Like, I need to know that you're a friend. I'm really bad at lying, my dude. People ask me for things, I just can't do it. I'm with him, okay? I can describe him to you. Sure, describe him to me then. I'll describe what Lucius, well, her, his okay. disguise looks like sure. to him. Okay, so you know him. What about anybody else? Do you know any of uh, the rest of our friends? You. Yeah, uh, I'll describe Norfear. Okay, yeah, when you describe Norfear, he's like, okay. He's so the of, only like, one I know. He doesn't, he, he keeps this like, it's like this Magitek gun, and it's like a smaller version of the force rifles that you've seen. These kind of like yeah. long crystalline sort of blocks of crystal that form in the rough shape of a rifle. This is like a little handheld version. He kind of keeps it at his side, but he doesn't, he's not like pointing it in your face. He kind of like lowers it down. Um, and he's like, okay, well, if you cause trouble, Goliath will deal with you anyway. And he's like, bam, bam. Um, Just, uh, and you hear the There's <laughs> nobody in earshot down here, is there? There's no, no, and it's, it's like, it's thick stone like it, okay. it's like this is like a cellar basement i'm just gonna say to him there are another three people out there that are coming in this is what they look like there are also you all come together because there are guards out there looking for this place right now so be on the watch that's a very good thing to know you just earned yourself a brownie point hey. thanks mate honestly no mean you no harm totally understand just want to Hey. Just want to give you as much of a heads up as possible. You know, I've just got to, we got to be cautious around here, but you know, if you guys are friends, uh, of uh, friends of friends, then nothing to worry about. Just got to be cautious. And he kind of like gestures like, after you. Okay, I'll go in. Yeah, uh, you, again, you see the same thing. Big Hulk and dude like, am I smashing this one for you go? No, 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 this one can go too. Apparently we've got a few more guests that might be arriving. Okay. Nice club. Thanks, nice axe. What Thanks. you've got, he's like, sweet. Cool. He just like lets you go down. Um, and you hear the and like yeah, goes like Jesus. Like, you, you, the last thing you hear is like oh, busy night, and then he just <laughs> goes back upstairs. Meanwhile, those of you who are upstairs, the guards move on and roll a d4 to see which of the ones remaining they go to. Okay. You watch as they're approaching the one with the sign that you are heading to, the one with the barefoot lady. They move past it and they go to the other restaurant. Giving meaning that you have a good window. At least two of you can probably enter before yeah. the guards. Well, can approach. we go together? Like, because yeah. if I'm kind of showing sent Crag sure. all the food, so like, Absolutely. like, kind of, I want to natu- naturally mm-hmm. sort of act like, oh, we should check out this place. They're really good for like, you know, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can both go together. So you approach, and the woman's like, "Hello, what can I do for you?" Hey, I heard your Bantown mix is really good. Like, you do it Sky Elf style, right? Can you make a persuasion check for me? Because she's just like, wow, real popular dish tonight. Sentry burps. <laughs> 18. Is that burp the help action or are you just burping? I'm just, just burping. Just burping. Just burping. Spicy burp. Spicy burp. Uh, 17? 18. 18. 18. She's like, okay, okay. And she kind of like leans in, is like, are there any more of you? I'm oh, just one. Okay. Re- really old guy stinks. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and she just sort of like nods and says like, hey, Fuego got two more for downstairs. I think it's that same party. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said that they were trickling in. Like, no worries, I got them, Ma. Uh, I'll get the next one too. Don't don't worry about it. And, and she's like, okay. And then she goes and starts serving other people in the restaurant. Uh, you can see that a few people in the restaurant have definitely noticed. Like, they've picked up that, like, <laughs> this keeps happening. Um, what, has no that's... one ever seen people coming for a birthday party? No, before? well, I think it's the fact that you're coming in so staggered that, like, people are going to remember this, Oh, right? we've like, done the opposite. Uh, 
it. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, but it's it was like, either alert the guards by going in a big group. Yeah, or exactly. Alert like, and it's it's making those calls, right? It's not. I'm not yeah. saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that these guys are going to remember it. So if the guards maybe ask them. Like, hey, have you seen anything yeah. suspicious tonight? They might be like, yeah, there was this weird party that came in and they kept being taken downstairs and blah, blah, blah. But they might also not. They might just be like, yeah, not really. Like, you know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, she kind of mentions it. Fuego appears and he's like, yeah, follow me. Takes you downstairs. Does the whole thing. Doesn't pull the gun on you this time. Doesn't pull the Magitek pistol. Um, but bangs it on and just says like, oh, one more, right? Got one more to come through? Yeah, real yeah. stinky guy. Okay, sure. Uh, and he said, uh, did you see those, he said that the last, the lady that came in, she said that there were guards outside, are they? Oh, they went to the other rabbit restaurant. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, he kind of like nods, okay, sure. Um, and then he comes back upstairs. Uh, you guys get let in, fine, you get no problem. <laughs> Quill, <laughs> like looking um, at <laughs> having, because like these guys are coming and going, the guards who are having a conversation this thing. I'm gonna roll to see if they notice that like the guys are going up and like asking this thing. Sure. Um, with disadvantage. Uh, they they seem to be focused on their investigation, so if you wanted to, you can slip in now. Sure, yeah. Uh, in that case, yes. All right. I will go in. In that case, I'm not gonna have you do the phrase or make any checks because you have adequately kind of warned them I that you were coming. Like I was gonna look at the menu first to see what else there was. Sure, Th that would have been a good way of doing it, wouldn't it? Like, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll have this. Like, yeah. Been... But no, you are let in. Um, and with that, you have now all gained access and not alerted the guards uh, to the yet. presence of this place yet. Oh, uh, stop them, guys, we're doing it. You are doing it, you're doing espionage, doing but you all make your way. Killing and it. We will begin next session with you guys arriving at the Seekers hideout oh, hell here yeah. in the Fire District. Um, nice. You're proud of us? We're spies. You're spies, well done. Uh, <laughs> so like, you've, yeah, like, no, you've done the bare minimum, day. my dudes, the bare minimum. <laughs> Very last thing before we go, don't forget next Sunday we got a brand new merch drop that's going to be Woo! happening. Yeah. yeah. Get it up next Sunday. Mm, uh, the next few episodes out. will be slightly shorter. They're going to be two hour episodes because we're going to be pre recording and doing them uh, and all that kind of good stuff. But do please keep sending your donations and support messages in. We'll read them all and do them all when we will get back together live. Yeah. Um, but that's going to be it for this second part of High Rolls Heroes. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. We love you. Happy Halloween! Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween! <laughs>